The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckhead, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the gayest and most hilarious comedian we all know and love, Mr. JP. Uh, pleasure to be here, sir. You need to start bringing glitter. I should. I'm going to glitter your whole fucking, uh, what are we calling this? The studio. studio. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the studio. Well, your whole room. studio is going to be glitter. That's, yeah, well, it, it was at one point. Somebody yeah. decided to send me a bag glitter of, bomb. yeah, no, a, gl- yeah. a bag of glitter dicks. Oh, and, I love uh, that. Yeah. And we should have, you know what? That's what you need. That would I be perfect do, for you. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but we also have another funny stand up comedian. He just got done recording of his very first special. He is the very funny Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hey, hey man. Our crowd is happy. I yeah, they are. Oh. I thought you were introing me first. I was ready to be oh. the gayest. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I wore, I wore my pride shirt today. Can you read it? What's it say? Back, back, back door. door. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's that's uh, that's I JP's just like favorite. To, I support the. Look, you got to do more than just put on a shirt. No, nope, that's, yeah, nope. that's all. I do. <laughs> nope, and then I take it. it off when I go home. That's my <laughs> yeah my contribution. JP's that's pocket. Nice. That's what it should be called. Yeah, I think that would work just fine. I don't think it would. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's Mine's fine. exit only. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Speaking of, I had a rough day. Did you? No, I mean, it's I, toilet wise, yeah. Okay, well, let, let's get to that. We'll get to that here in a second. <laughs> you don't want to hear about it immediately. Not immediately. All right. No, but we have uh, we have a very fun filled episode today. This is uh, a comedy podcast for those of you that this is the very first time you've ever listened to this show because there's a shitload of new more people or more new people. There's a there's shitload of new more people. Right <laughs> shit, shit, we are shit, shit killing it. We're, I mean, there must be 10, 20 people listening to us right now. <laughs> My Midwest came out a little Yeah, bit. man, that was scary. I know. I, I know. thought you were going to hang me from a fence. No. <laughs> wow. Okay, no. That's like back farther than I thought he was being. I was thinking like mid 80s, you know, like, hey, y'all. And you're thinking like 17, oh, 50 yeah, right, or something. Right. What's he doing in there I, with I my know. brother? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, no, if this is the very first time you've listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and jokes about sports uh, or jokes about anything other than sports. We don't really care. They're all targeted towards me and that's fine. But this is also an adult podcast. We like to uh, use foul language and offend lots of people. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank or, you. Goodbye. Yeah. Or if you're listening in the car and your kids are in there. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. idea. Yeah. We're going to talk about balls and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Balls, wieners and buttholes. That's uh, that's our forte. And boobs. And boobs. <laughs> and, and, but not vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> not those. No, we're not. We don't talk about gross shit. <laughs> we only talk about pristine, clean vaginas. I'm pretty sure we are. We had a discussion about beef and cheddar last episode, so this is a false statement. But those are delicious. You. They are really good. I might. I'm gonna <laughs> swing by Arby's on my way home. I'm sure you will. That sounds good. Uh, but anyways, we do have a great episode this week. Uh, we've got the current events to go over. Overrated or underrated? Fuck them, like them, or love them. It's changed. Oh, yeah, it changes I, every week. Every week. I like that one okay. better though. I know because it gives too. room for like. Exactly. Eh, I'm yeah. middle of the road. Yeah, and the other thing is, is it's not all guys do those things. It's people in general. So I, I uh, we're expanding that, and then we also have questions and preguntas. As always, we have our draft, and then a shitty situation to wrap it up. And this week, we also have what's in the box. 
Awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm Where's sure the box? Are. Is uh, it? I've got it. It's secret? Yeah, it's secret. Okay. Okay. Uh, but before we kick off this great episode, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week, and we're going to kick this off with Mr. Mike Baldwin because he was so fucking excited. Well, now I'm not, now that you shit on my shit. I didn't. I, I was telling shit stories, oh, and okay. you were like, later. Oh, well. I'm like, this is a, it's like me going to the bathroom. This is an emergency oh. right now. <laughs> it has to be. Oh, okay but no it's fine okay. i just i just wanted to say the sentence uh the toilet water looked like salisbury steak gravy <laughs> oh my god that's disgusting does that paint a good image <laughs> no it's not pretty like that's how you know it's bad is when the water changes color that's gross man uh, yeah thanks for this is a gross comedy podcast <laughs> i believe that's exactly <laughs> what you just you said looking at me you're like is this who we have is this on what we're doing this week <laughs> It's, uh, is this where we're going right yeah, away? It's coffee shits, man. All right, man. I'm good. I don't think it was. It was probably the meatloaf followed <laughs> by <laughs> ice cream. Oh, like, I didn't eat them simultaneously, uh, well. but I, I definitely I got the ice cream out of the freezer while I was still chewing the last bite of meatloaf. <laughs> oh, but I didn't eat the ice cream for like 15 minutes because it's got to like, you know, soften up a little bit. Oh, I'm not an animal. I can't just fucking grab a frozen wow. chunk. Oh, Suck it up, man. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm ready. This coffee should help even everything that's else. That's good. all that's, that's in my body is that's just good. dairy and meat. That's good. <laughs> Hope you don't get backed up. So what did you do over the last uh, week, Mike? Because now this is the – I think this is the very first time that we've had the same guests, like, back-to-back. -back. I say guests really loosely because we have a good core group of guys, and you guys are them. So this is – you guys are – We're part of the core. You're, yeah, you're part of the core, man. Hell, yeah. We need Rock to be on. on a poster or, like, make T-shirts or whatever. Right. I'm working on like, it. Right. The core. I'm work Actually, I, I did have – I've had a couple of, like, listeners ask us, hey, where do we find your merch and stuff like that? I'm working on it. Uh, it's in the mi – what? You need a, a shirt company guy. I already got him. Well, then we're good to go. Yeah, we just need just, to call him every week and and tell him to make a shirt with whatever random phrase <laughs> we say that week. There's a whole bunch of them that, that I've already got ideas for, but unfortunately, I'm the one who does all the work, and so it's tough, man. Yeah. Oh, poor Scotty. <laughs> it's oh. tough. I don't even know what it is. Oh, no, that's not the right one. <laughs> JP has spoken. Man, you sound <laughs> like a woman. <laughs> I, nope, that ain't it. That nope. one? Oh. Is there one where it's the just... The one, one, one. Oh, that, one. that one. Oh. That, that's the one. I'm just sitting here pushing Poor buttons. Poor Scotty. Yeah, no, that's me. You yeah. need one of the audience going, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be after every single time I make a joke on this show. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, what did you do? So we, we've already talked about uh, last week. You got you did the special. Yes. So that's that's we still don't know when that's coming out. No, it's still in the works. Do you have a title for it? Yeah, it's called the number one top selling best comedy special ever. How original. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> great i figure it's like it's a win-win because either it it doesn't become those things yeah and i can be like obviously i was kidding or it does become those things and i'm like yeah i know dude that's why i called it that <laughs> i was way ahead of the game i know i knew what was you gonna bet happen on yourself and that's what you always need to do well i bet on myself knowing that there was no losing <laughs> okay like if there's nothing i nobody's gonna be like i'm not listening to this because it claims to be <laughs> right. super good yeah but they might disagree but yeah. th that's fine uh but what did you do over the last week mike um what did i do i did some shows in the wichita area this weekend those yeah. were all fun yeah um yeah we did a tiny bar on thursday and it was like it it wasn't standing room only but there was no chairs <laughs> so it was just standing only yeah and uh i thought it it was going to be rougher than it was. We ended up having a good amount of fun. Good. Uh, and then Saturday was cool. We went to El Dorado and uh, did a city of gold. Yeah. Oh. There was something. I don't know. Gold <laughs> heroin or something. Yeah, I was going to say gold cap teeth. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. It was fun though. I had a good time, it, but I did hardly any actual comedy because I was just like babysitting the audience the whole time. Just, oh, that's rough. Just drunks and people that like respond to every word that you say and, 
Love that. And you can't express to them, like, dude, if you just be quiet and listen, uh-huh. like, my question is going to be answered, you know? But, <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those where they have to respond to everything. And yeah. But it was still fun. Had a good time. Um, what else did I do? I mowed the lawn at my grandma's yesterday. You do that every week, Mike. Oh, yeah. Yep, I have to. Otherwise, it gets ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> There's trees growing out here. As that's what I heard this week, yeah. and I was like, literal trees. And like, she's not wrong because if you let it go for a year, it will turn into a tree. Sure, but it's still lawn mowable, so it's, it's not, not even a, a sapling. It's yet. not a tree, right. you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yep, that's it. Sorry, I'm that's not it? exciting. I My made meatloaf. God. I got <laughs> diarrhea. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I'm getting prepared. I made my avatar for the uh, virtual reality show. Oh, that yeah. I'm doing we talked week. about that last week. It's way skinnier than me in real life, and it has a Dune outfit on. This is the whole reason why we have a high top table that we do this podcast on. It's to so, hide my belly? No, actually to hide Derek's belly, because if we didn't, he'd bitch about it the entire fucking time. <laughs> Plus, it hides my boner. That, too. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I my, mean... My my boners tend to just hide themselves. Yeah, that's, <laughs> good. that's nice. Yeah, that's that's great. the it's that's the convenient deal. part about having yeah. a smaller wiener is yeah. that I'm like smaller. oh I'm like sorry about this boner and they're like what are you even talking <laughs> yeah, about? I'm like mean, oh man. no worries then forget I said anything. What would you like to eat now? Because <laughs> okay. I'm their waiter in this scenario. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, well, congratulations on your great, fascinating week there, Mike. Uh, how- I, I, it makes me want to do more stuff. You now. need to do more stuff. I listened to an Andrew Tate video yesterday. Do you know who that is? I do. He's like super motivational or whatever, but he said something that stuck with me because the dude was like, so what makes you happy? You know, And he was like, I don't give a fuck about being happy. He's like, I just want to be proud. And so that's been in my head the ne- the last day or two is like, are you proud? No, not yet. But that's <laughs> no, what I, not yet. But I'm working. I want to be though, you know. I want to be. But that's what I think when I'm like shoving <laughs> nasty awesome. food into my face or smoking weed or whatever. I'm just like, what feels good right now, you know? Right. But he's like, you need to just look back on your day and be like, did I fucking accomplish shit or what? <laughs> if and, you ate that much and smoked that much, I'd say yeah. 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 I did a pretty good job on the meatloaf. I'm, I'm just sure. saying it's not hard to 90% of my diet is like ground beef with tomato sauce. <laughs> okay. It really is I like meatloaf you. with ketchup or like a hamburger with ketchup or spaghetti sauce with is ketchup. just <laughs> with sp- spaghetti <laughs> sauce, sauce is, ketchup. is the tomato. Yeah. yeah it's a salsa, a ground beef. Like that's the yeah. same thing. Fucking w- chili. <laughs> What else is there? <laughs> Everything like ninety five percent of my meals, are like oh, just having some ground beef and some tomato sauce. This is true. I mean, it's all uh, Mexican food, but that's okay. No, it's, it's spaghetti is not Mexican food. Hamburgers aren't Mexican food. <laughs> you don't know the right kind of Mexicans. I've never had. A, I've never, never had, had Mexican spaghetti. Mexican no, me spaghetti? neither. I feel no. like it probably has I a feel lot like of that's not onions a thing. and peppers and shit. No, no, me. Mexican spaghetti amazingly is regular spaghetti. Made well, in then Mexico. that's not. Yeah, I mean, it's just made in Mexico. Made by Mexicans. Yeah, <laughs> they it's have made it. by Mexicans. That's it's every Mexican Me- spaghetti. <laughs> Italian restaurant. I know. I know. Whenever I go to a Mexican <laughs> restaurant, I always order the spaghetti. <laughs> hey, if it's a scratch mess, Mexican I will restaurant, now. Yeah. Should. Excuse me. I don't see it here on the menu, <laughs> but know. surely you have the Mexican spaghetti. <laughs> They're like it's only on the kids it's menu. A, it's a staple for God's sake. <laughs> Some garlic bread, god damn it. I want some dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm leaving this Mexican <laughs> restaurant. Great. That's great. They say they won't make it, but they will if they you throw got them. They <laughs> will. Oh uh, shit. Well, JP, dare I ask, how was your weekend, my buddy? Fantastic. Okay. I did so much. Did you? I went to the zoo. What? Hey. That's yeah. a, that's new. Oh yeah, man. Is it, it okay? They renovated a bunch of it. I heard. Yeah, it looks great. Looks great. Yeah. Okay. Really well, good job. Lots of animals. Yeah, except fucking the saddest thing. <laughs> Only one hippo. <laughs> yeah, I heard. The hippo died, man. <laughs> hippo died. When? Uh, a, couple a couple weeks, weeks ago. Oh yeah. And if that's not bad enough, they're basically they were like, yeah, we're not gonna have hippos anymore. <laughs> 
So basically, they're just like, we're waiting on that one to to die, die too, (laughs) so that we can get rid of them motherfuckers and put something else where their exhibit's at. That is 100% accurate. Yeah. And it's. They're like, well, you know. He's probably gonna die soon. Like <laughs> he's pretty well, sad and he's lonely. Pretty sad and lonely now. We could get another hippo, make him but, happier. Yeah, or we, you know, ship him off somewhere, that's man, what where I, he can be happy. Exactly, and the, and that's kind of the thing. It's like like zoos well, are already like the saddest fucking places in the world. I, Those poor animals look so sad, ex- dude. Except for the Australian zoo. Yeah, the Australians. Those are fuckers there. are happy there. Yeah, they there. do look happy. They the look wild way dogs, happy. man, they were yeah. trotting around, fucking all the happy. Dingoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. No, no, the painted dogs, painted wild dogs. Oh, gotcha. They're fucking awesome. Yeah, I but, tried to pet one. I mean, imagine going to that place where Steve Irwin created. He fucking built that place. Yeah. And how could you be a pissed off animal? You can't be. Right. There. Yeah, but yeah. here in Wichita, Kansas. No, we have a great zoo. <laughs> we do actually have it's, like a world class yeah, yeah. zoo. But they look so like the monkeys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Especially the really, really big old orangutan. He just fucking looks at you like, kill me. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking pull a gun out and fucking shoot me, please. But that's like, like the, what is that called? Personification, where you're like, I can tell what that animal is feeling. Oh, you can see it in his eyes, man. <laughs> he's done but, with life. But that's my point. He could just be super content and just chilling. No, he's not. Not give a fuck. And you're like, oh, yeah, he wants to commit suicide. No, you and he's tell, like, what are you, you talking Tell by the way fine. he flings his shit at you. <laughs> yeah, that's his way of saying hello. hello I don't know. I, think <laughs> I mean, I'm, to, I think he's ready to go. I think he wishes he was that hippo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's jealous of that, so that, that hippo. They, they that's look, what they should do. They should put the monkey and the hippo together. Yeah, they should. Go. And let them be friends. Yeah, and they'll man. both live another 20 years. Right. Absolutely. Well, that's not what they want. They want to get rid of that fucking <laughs> I know. I was thinking it. they're already put having meetings every day of like who can put what in what there. In there? Yeah. It's like so we got terrible. a great, A dude like made a 3D model in his, and put it in a briefcase. Check thing that, this out. I know. <laughs> we have the ultimate zoo experience. Uh, JP is not over exaggerating literally the article said well they were about the same age and so most likely this hippo is not far beyond right right living man. outliving They're this just other waiting one. it so, out man they got a so, little <laughs> little advent like the advent <laughs> yeah. calendar every day they open a new door oh what yeah. they, they made it another day they got an so, office pool going so the poor fucking living hippopotamus is now Dude, and dying it was just alone and it you know like before you could go and you know you could see them from up top yeah when they were out on the land or whatever and then and you can go underneath they go underneath and you had the fucking you could see them swimming around shit filled and water were, yeah but not i mean they weren't always fucking swimming around but they were most of the time you could see them swimming around and they were at least looked fucking like they were doing something nope this motherfucker was just laying at the bottom of the tank fucking just <laughs> trying to drown himself <laughs> oh, no. and he was like fuck i can almost i can breathe That's underwater so for a long sad. time and then we'd come up for air and he would come up real slow like he wasn't sure he was wanting to come up he just wanted to stay down but then he came up and he went back down uh, <laughs> it just yeah, feels dude. so depressing it Poor was depressing. Hippo. Yeah. that's what we yeah. should make we should make like a, make, make this video go viral or something and then i mean like save the hippo please get the hippo to s- get him some friends this yeah, is horrible dude, you know that's my biggest fear get him it? some friends or or poach him <laughs> Okay. Let's yeah, just yeah, end let's it and, and let's let him have a good story when he I gets could use to a hippo new, I, could, I could use a new hippo skin uh, pair of boots. Absolutely, they're pretty nice. Like, pretty yeah. thick. Yeah, thick skin. Very water are. resistant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any any other fun animals uh, at the zoo? I've, I've heard the the like the lions are, are pretty badass. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. Uh, there was one snow leopard that uh, she was kind of laying by the glass on the inside of the exhibit where you could be inside, and it was nice and cool because it was yeah. hot as shit out. But uh, every time you reach down like toward her, she would like hiss and fucking roar at you. Oh man, it was awesome. Huh. I pissed her off, but <laughs> it sounded really cool. You know, like real fucking. Uh, uh, so it was, it was awesome. At the Wichita Zoo, they actually have a bird exhibit that you can walk yeah. through, and it has it has like you know kind of like a, a circus tent kind of apparatus above it, so the birds can't really get out if they really wanted it's to. Called they an c- aviary. Oh, is that what it's called? Fucking it is. idiot. <laughs> Moron. I don't fucking know. Don't even know what an aviator, fun, fun. <laughs> aviator <laughs> is. <laughs> aviator area. <laughs> yeah, I want to get an aviator glasses or whatever the fuck they're called. But anyway, uh, so fun fact about my wife. You know she's absolutely terrified of birds. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. You should take her there. I did. Oh, I bet she hates she you, dude. She fucking hated it because oh, it's I long. Bet. Yeah, and they're everywhere. Yeah. They're out. They're, they're out. like. They could come right you up to you. You could pet one. Yeah, you could. I tried to pet one of the parrots. 
Oh, did you? Mistake. Not, not happy. Mistake. He was not happy about it. I was like, man, look, he's pride colors. And I was like, and he was like, ah. <laughs> he's like, like, it almost got me, bro. Fuck you. This is my yeah. genetics. He's making yeah, me wear the pride he was, t-shirt. He was not happy. He was a lesbian, no, apparently. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're not happy people. Uh, but no, she she did. It's like a maze. It's probably a good, maybe football field long. I oh would yeah, guess, at least. Right? At least, yeah. And but it's a maze. It goes like back and forth, and so you get to see all these uh, birds. And my wife was walking through that motherfucker as fast as she could. <laughs> she had her coat cover, over her head. Yeah, she's covering her head. It's like, come on, dude, they're gonna what, leave you alone. That's what I do in the fucking bat cave, bro. Oh, dude, I love the bat cave. Mm, yeah, no. our, our zoo is actually pretty badass. I do. I gotta give them props, but uh, the give uh, them some claps, man. Oh yeah, yeah, there you yeah. Go. All right for the Sedgwick zoo. Sedgwick County Zoo, Sedgwick hey, yeah. County Zoo, baby. Sedgwick County Zoo, it's a good place. Um, Imprisoned animals. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can get some money. Family fun. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, until I said that, now yeah. they're like, "Fucking come on, man! I thought you liked the zoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fine with it." I, I like the snakes. They have a reptile exhibit where you can mm. walk through every, and you can see all of them. And there there's some that are endangered as fuck and venomous as fuck. And oh, it's awesome. It's so cool. I don't like snakes. You don't like snakes? I mean, I like to see them from afar. I don't want to <laughs> deal with a snake oh, or man. anything. I'm not scared of snakes at all. Uh, Me neither. I had no. a bad snake experience. <laughs> get a, a couple of them, actually. Did you get I, bit? Somebody brought one in a bucket to school, and I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just like, watch, I'll pick it up, and just like stuck my hand in this bucket, and it fucking just nabbed me, and like it scared me more than it hurt, you know, but that was... So then years later, this is like during my drug time, I go to a dude's house that sells drugs. Obviously, he owns a well, snake. snake. Yeah, <laughs> they all do. And them. he had it out, and he was like, it was crawling around on him and stuff. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? And he was like, no, it's friendly. Like, go ahead. And <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Pet he's him. like, stick your arm out. And so I did, and it crawled. It wrapped around my arm a little bit, and its head was right there. And I was just sort of like petting its head while I was talking. And I don't know what I did or what it decided, but out of nowhere, it just went... <laughs> And fucking started tightening up on my arm, and my hand was like turning, <laughs> going numb and shit. I was like, "Get your fucking snake!" And the uh, dude's like, "I ain't fucking touching it, dude. It looks pissed." Uh, so I just okay. had to like stand there and wait for it to like slowly. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it was uh, the one of the scariest moments of my life, and I was high for like the third time in my life. So I, nice. it was not a good combination of feelings and thoughts. And nice. So yeah, fuck snakes. <laughs> well. Awesome. Other than the zoo, did you do anything fun? Yeah, man. I uh, went bowling. <laughs> I smoked a little bit of marijuana. Yeah. And uh, I started a new series on Apple TV. Oh, Ooh, which is, uh, what did you watch? It's called um, Invasion. Yeah? Really good. Oh, yeah? Really good. Okay. You should check it out. It's, I'm not going to. I've only seen like three episodes. That's okay. It's badass. That's, that's good enough. There's also Secret to? Invasion huh? on Disney. Why aren't you going to uh, check it out, man? Why? I'm not buying another fucking subscription. Oh, oh my god it's apple tv dude there's Suck so it, much good apple. stuff on it have no. you watched uh c s e e no about the blind people because <laughs> <laughs> no. that's what they can't it's do. really good yeah do you know what i'm talking about nope. no it's like uh like f- uh 500 years ago there's a disease or something and it makes newborn babies blind right so oh. over the course of generations, everybody is blind. So now it's 500 years in the future, and the world is built around a civilization that's it's all blind. And it's pretty fucked it's up. It's on Apple TV? Yeah. And, and one motherfucker can see. Yeah, every once in a while, a baby's born that's like, oh, you mean like that red thing over there? And everybody's like, what? <laughs> like, how do you that's know awesome. what over there is? And red. And yeah, yes. I'll it's check like it I out. can predict the plot of this bitch. Oh, I'm you gonna... kind of can, but it's still a fun ride ride and they do right. a good job of, of i love a fun ride yep yeah wieners and stuff huh? snakes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's weird uh so anyways my weekend yeah yeah right about about it. It. i can't wait uh guess what i did i don't care oh uh, no you can guess um I bet you went golfing. I sure did. I'll be damned. No, I didn't. No kid. I, I, I did. I, all of the jokes aside, I really do enjoy playing with my wife. Uh, I really do. Um, this yeah. Is, yeah, I do. I don't mind either. <laughs> well, you get her out. And, I, play, I mean, get I play, her out there on the field and yeah. play with her. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I do actually enjoy golfing with my wife, especially when there's nobody out on the course and we can take our time. It's a lot of fun because she's fucking slow. 
Uh, but uh, had a great time golfing with her. I played on a on a professional level golf course with the putting greens faster than shit. It was it was like putting on glass. It was ridiculous. Oh man! So I wanted no. I'm gonna con- I'm gonna connect with you on this. Okay. Because you're a huge bowler. You love to bowl. I am an enormous <laughs> dicked bowler. <laughs> That is true. I know. I figured you'd say that. Yes. Uh, but you love bowling, right? I fucking love bowling. And the way that bowling. they the way the way that they oil the lanes makes a huge difference in how you 100%, bowl. Hundred percent. Right. Hundred percent. That's so the only thing that makes a difference, really. Right. So it's the same thing for golfers on putting greens. It's how they oil the green? No, it's how they cut the grass and how they cut it and how hard it is. Yeah, because it's faster or slower. Right. Or, you know. So if you if you're bowling on something that has a weird pattern or something like that, it's really difficult. Right. And those are the professional bowlers they can still do well oh yeah that was me on a putting green this whole weekend and i but i had fun i I really do well uh i did okay i I did a little bit below average but i kind of expected it considering you are a little below average so i'd say you're right on par yeah i know golf Golf words yeah there you go um but no i uh i did have a lot of fun uh it was uh fred which i know we haven't seen fred in a while but he'll be back on the show before too long um but it was it was a really good time i did i was really excited i did start actually watching a really fun documentary series that i think other people should go watch it for the entertainment factor alone no i'm not gonna watch it it's on hold on hold on it's getting ready to come out on netflix too there's a new one that's getting ready to come out what is it but there's one on espn that you can go and watch that's one side of the argument and the one that comes out on netflix is all the people that aren't involved and it's about my favorite show as a child the American Gladiators. Oh, okay. Fuck I was yeah. hoping they were going to bring that show back. Oh, yeah. So it's, what? They're just going to talk shit about the show and how brutal they were to them and how I've, they didn't yeah. respect them and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It's bad. It's so bad. It, okay. The, the president or the owner is such a piece of shit. It's not. It's so bad. His name is Johnny Ferrero or Ferrera, one of the two. Anyways. The, is that the looks, guy that makes Ferrero Rocher? Could be. Mm, um, I've never eaten those half, again. Yeah. Half of the company. Okay. Mm-hmm. And not to get pol- pol- political about this at all, but if you were to pick, uh, if you were to have what, if I'm going to describe what this guy looks like, he looks like a mix between Donald Trump and Elvis Presley. Exactly. So he's like a that. great looking man. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good looking dude. <laughs> Ladies love dude, him. Dude, he has these sideburns and he was actually impersonating Elvis for a while, like in the early part of his career. So he still has it, but just the face and the hair, and you're just like, oh my God. And I told that to my wife before she started watching the show with me. And she's like, Jesus Christ, you're exactly right. That's how <laughs> that's how closely resemble. Anyways, it's super good on ESPN Plus. But whenever it comes out, which it may be out actually already on Netflix, I'm so excited because you learn about the characters that, as a kid, you actually really fell in love with. Like, did you ever watch American Gladiators? Yeah, man. Sure. Like Nitro and Laser yeah. and Saber. It kind of. I like Lace. I don't think that was one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was it? That Lace? was one of the girls. Yeah. Lace. I just remember Ice was Lace. one. Oh, okay. Oh, she I'm gonna was take awesome. it. I think she would have had to been the one of the later ones because she was, was one of the ones that want that was a gla- she was a gladiator. Dude, she I'm not even joking. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, oh, you got the ad popping up. Fucking ads. I'll, popping I'll put up. it. I'll put it. I'll I'll impose it on I, our deal. You can't see. No. Fuck. You can't but see. You're right, Scotty. That guy looks exactly like, <laughs> like that. Donald Trump Donald and Trump. Elvis no, I Presley. Can't, it, Elvis. it throws a fucking ad up every time. I, but vice. No, he. I saw him for a quick second. Mate. It's it's bad. And, and he kind of looks like Wayne Newton. Yeah, it, uh, he's got he's got like he looks like what you said, but he's got like a Wayne Newton. He's got a vibe. Wayne Newton vibe, <laughs> yeah, in there. dude. And, and that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a pretty crazy fucking documentary, and so I'm really excited to see the Netflix side of it because. They hated that guy, the Elvis Presley looking motherfucker, so much that whenever they found out they're doing a documentary about that guy, they were like, fuck, I'm not going to do it. But then they put one out on Netflix and they're like, okay, I'll do it as long as we're not having to talk or deal, deal with that douchebag. Awesome. And it's, it is pretty fucking good. Huh. But, uh, yeah, there I'm only going to get to see one side of it because I don't have ESPN Plus. That's okay. Then the Netflix is the only one that you want. Okay. They fucked those guys over pretty bad. But that's kind of crazy because, um, I watch YouTube a lot, uh-huh. and uh, all of a sudden, like on my fucking like new release part, yeah. it's had some like American Gladiator episodes that kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, and I'm like where'd those come from? But I watched them, and they were fucking awesome, dude. I wanted to be American Gladiator <laughs> so as a bad. kid, but then like the 
excuse me, they they had us groomed at that point because as a young kid, I want easy. Hey, hold on a second. Easy. Let's not be throwing around the G word. (laughs) Come on, man. I wanted to be an American Gladiator or on American Gladiator so bad, but then they came out with a Nickelodeon version, which was guts, 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 dude. Yeah, and I wanted to be on that oh, so bad. Yeah, I man. saw these kids. I was that, so jealous of all those fucking little kids on uh, guts, and I wanted to be on get guts. To climb the aggro crag. Fuck yeah! And all and of now, those other people, they sucked. They were stupid. I would have done way better than them. I play guts every Saturday night now. <laughs> 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 Uh, spill your guts. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Butt stuff. <laughs> Butt stuff. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. Hey, man, I still uh, got a, I still got the rest of the week. Oh, uh, you do? Yeah. Oh, uh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, man. I know. Uh, but other than that, had a lot of fun playing golf, hanging out with family. You know, doing the stuff. Right on, man. Best part, I found out that I'm not only off. And uh, for 4th of July, I'm off the 3rd of July. So I have a four-day weekend coming up. Motherfucker, I'm going to be on a golf nice. course by myself, and I'm going to love every minute of it. That's so. all, is it going to be busy? Because does everybody else have no, days off, too? No. Uh, maybe on the 4th, yes. But on the 3rd, nobody's fucking off. So I am going to be on the golf course all weekend long. And I, can't I think we're off on the 3rd. Fuck you. You going to go golfing with me? I know I'm off. On yeah, that man, dude, I'll take you. Oh, dude, can I, I can... use your sticks? Yeah, can I use your your? Absolutely, uh, I want to you use your driver. Nope, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Come on, man. Uh, I'm listen. good. I the... won't hurt I it. I just need one stick. I just need I'll one fucking, stick. I'll fucking beat all you of you pick guys. it. You pick the stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be you're gonna be teeing off with the putter. Uh-huh. I don't care. I don't care what golf stick you give me. I'll fucking <laughs> I'll fuck. whack that thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, that was my week. Uh, so I'm glad all of you guys had a great week. And uh, with Fourth of July coming up, uh, before or well, before you have all the fireworks and stuff like that, don't blow your fucking hand off. Be careful with that. Yeah. Uh. Because it's coming. I think they should. Fucking, it's natural selection. If you're that fucking stupid, then you deserve to be blowing your hand off. Oh. Although I, it ha- accidents happen. Like one time we fucking lit a bunch of fireworks and they all, it was windy and they all tipped over and they all started firing at everybody in the front yard. Like my grandma and my mom, my mom's fucking Natural like, selection. My mom fucking right, right. gets up and grabs her chair and like fucking holds it out in front of her like a shield, dude. It was awesome. That, that was the awesome. doctor's was like, cool. yeah, well, your grandma's a fucking idiot. She should have moved. Yeah, she shouldn't have been fucking around. Her wheelchair shouldn't have been there. I was just looking at beautiful fireworks. Yeah. Invest in a power wheelchair, you yeah, poor man. people. Fuck. Yeah, dude, dude, I still have a scar on my hand from a fucking sparkler like oh, yeah, those 25 are years ago. Yeah, they outlaw all this stuff and then they'll be like, here, have a sparkler. The motherfuckers hurt. They Not- really do, yeah, dude. dude. Like, it's dangerous. Yeah, and agree. people just get, hey, let the kids hold this. Yeah, here, hold let this. Them, let them run in the garage with it. So I'm actually curious because I do know, like, in the major city limits, they they ban a whole bunch of shit. Like they- This year, they're, they put a whole, they, like, relaxed everything a lot. Well, that's like, kind of what I'm saying. So I follow this guy. Uh, his I believe his name is Josh from England on TikTok. Cool dude. Oh, yeah, Josh. Yeah. Oh, coming, from England? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's flying in, and he's going to go to Las Vegas for the 4th of July as a, a Brit going and experiencing 4th of July. I don't know about you guys, but that's like the last place I would want to go for the 4th of July. I don't Vegas. think it's yeah, I don't think it's very spectacular. You can't set off fireworks. I think I would love to live in Vegas, but I think I would be like fucking panhandling on the streets because <laughs> I've got a gambling problem already. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude. And, well, uh, then you might fucking turn your whole life around. Yeah, it's, good. I will Just hit one it way or another. Yeah, it's your life are going one change. direction. You're right. Things right. are going to change. But like, no, man. If I if I had it my way, I would probably say definitely the Midwest because uh, you can go out into middle of nowhere and set off illegal shit. You can do that in Vegas. You know they have a lot of middle of the nowhere out but there. The, but you can't set anything off because they have burn uh, risks because it's so dry. In the middle of the fucking desert? Fuck yeah, they do. Who gives a fuck? They got trees and shrubs I know. and shit. Oh, no, the sand is on oh, no, fire. Oh, no, the sand is on fire. Oh, God, what are we going to do? Anyway, that's just I don't, two cents. I don't Throw like, some sand on it. I don't like But we don't have any. It's all on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doing fireworks, but I like watching fireworks. Oh, and you can do time. that almost anywhere, dude. Just, Every little t- city has their own like fireworks extravaganza oh, and yeah. if you look it up on on the old uh the the world wide web you can find like you could probably plan a night and see three or four of them mm-hmm. there's a little town like it's god i want to say it's maybe an hour and a half from here oh really but they do like it's it's like national 
Oh, like, really? They always cover, like, national p- news places and stuff always cover. It's, like, one of the best fireworks displays in the nation. Oh, but it's professionally done? Yeah, No, yeah. I don't want those. I, I, I don't you like that. You like just the fucking, oh, look at Jimmy just lit a bottle <laughs> rocket. Oh, no. look, Jimmy's got the fountain so, going. So I don't live. Jimmy, no. <laughs> no, Jimmy, t- don't stand over the firework. I don't live there anymore, but uh, in Park City, Kansas, which is yeah. just north of Wichita. That's where I used to live. I, I, did, I did, too. My ex and I had a house there. Oh, good for you yeah uh but no during the fourth of july they're they have i don't no like the way he said that <laughs> what oh good, oh, good, good for, you. for you good for you yeah. um live your truth yeah that's yeah. Way, way to be true to yourself uh but in, in park city they have no restrictions whatsoever and so it's just people just burning a hundred a hundred dollars at a time and it's ridiculous and nobody in park city has a hundred dollars to burn <laughs> i can assure you they're they you do because they've been saving all they're year. all, yeah. they're they're all saving bread. Bread. all year long yeah. man that's what they want is oh, fireworks. Yeah, man. i will admit like i talk shit about it but i've probably like three times in my 42 years i've gone out and spent hundreds of dollars for I've, fourth yeah. of july yeah, i and think we've too. all done it and those years are oh, way fun. more memorable and way more fun than yeah. just going to like a lake or something and watching some company set off or or i would go to royals games yeah a lot okay and that kind of shit but no it's definitely fun to be around like last year i went to my sister's and she lives in a cul-de-sac so everybody else in the cul-de-sac got a little good cul-de-sac all, the, all their families yeah. out yeah. and like barbecuing yeah. and all yeah. that stuff it was great neighborhood tom neighborhood tom always has the most fireworks and that's kind of the thing that we do is one up each other of who spends the most on fireworks <laughs> and then it's just like I would like to just sit out in my my driveway and watch Todd or Tom shoot those motherfuckers off and just bin, burn a hundred dollar bill at a time. And so that's why I liked uh, living up there. But anyway, All right. uh, but yeah. So that was my week. Uh, be safe. Uh, we got a great show to get to today. But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to BattleCornCarePackages dot com. They are our sponsor. Uh, we are hoping that they can get to their goal at twenty five thousand dollars, which is coming up for their gala. Uh, in August, if you haven't already, go and check John, gone and check them out. Do us a favor, go check out Curtis and his family, uh, BattleCornCarePackages.com, um, in memory of uh, their daughter JC, who who passed away years ago. Um, hope that they can raise as much money as they possibly can to get their goal. So BattleCornCarePackages.com. Thank you to all of them. We sincerely do appreciate it. But let's get on to the current events. We don't have a lot because I have a feeling we're probably going to expand on one of these particular current events. But uh, being a Detroit Lions fan, I'm really excited for their new <laughs> helmets. What? 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 Just this one. What? They're fire. They're fire. They're fire, man. <laughs> the big old, big old letters with yeah. an exclamation point behind it. <laughs> they just, are badass. When I'm writing this, I have to have certain things that remind me certain like things. So I, it's just something that you guys don't have to fucking worry about. But anyways, uh, long story short, they are, they're doing the throwback logo. They really don't give a fuck. What's the... Oh no! You gotta put throwback it, helmet. That's all you gotta. It do. could be no, dude. There's so many like people that have designed helmets on the fucking web. They they are actually gonna wear this this one in the in the game and maybe a can, couple. It's hard to find it though. That's what I'm saying. Oh no! It's it's the older logo. It kind of looks weird, and only Detroit Lion fans probably like it. But I think it's pretty pretty dope. It's this blue. article says the Lions' new throwback helmet logo looks like someone drew their mascot from <laughs> memory. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's pretty accurate, but that's kind of what it looked like back in the day. Why don't they? Uh, I'm so mad at the internet. Like, they're like, oh, you want to see this helmet? Watch this Mustang commercial first. <laughs> well, I'm that's like, show not, me the fucking helmet, that, dude. They got to they gotta advertise because they are at Ford Field, and so that's the actual video of them. Turn your volume down. So Valid. Uh, All right. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's, that's them unveiling it on the top of a Mustang. So you got to make sure that you get to see the whole All thing. All right. I apologize. Yeah, I yeah. shit all over it for... But, yeah. okay. So it looks like a... Look at it. It just puts something over everything <laughs> I'm trying to what. show you. You need an iPhone. iPhone. I have an, oh, that iPhone. Is an iPhone. Yes. Mine doesn't do that. Yes, it does. <laughs> is that an iPhone 12? It is. Maybe. Yep. That's why the 12s were notorious for that. Yeah. For what? Putting things over your fucking Putting Zoom. stuff over things. Yeah, man. That sucks. Fuck. You gotta- you got to upgrade, Doc. No, I'm waiting until September. It's too late in the year now. I got to wait for that 15 really? to come out. Yeah. Okay. So All I right. can have the newest thing Damn, longer. Skippy. Okay. Um, but, uh, nice also, helmet, though. Yeah, it's pretty dope. 
Um, uh, the College World Series in Omaha, uh, or in Omaha right now is going on as we're recording. We're recording the show on Monday. Uh, you got LSU against Florida. Florida actually came back uh, uh, the other night, last night, and uh, ended up forcing a game three. They scored 24 runs against LSU, which is uh, what I like to call an old-fashioned in one whooping. In one game? One game, dog. It was like 24 Good to three. God. But I think after a certain point, you just kind of go... Ah, I'm not going to waste one of my pitchers for this shit. And they were just like, just serving up meat. Like yeah, we call them cock shots is what we call them, which is right down That's the weird. middle. Yeah, I know. I figured you'd like that. Yeah. Uh, I've taken so. a couple of those. I'm, I'm with a golf ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a baseball. Either one. Either like, one. Call back to last week. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks fans. Uh-huh. Oh, they're out there. <laughs> they are. Both of them. Somebody probably tried that out. I'm sure. I doubt it. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> hope so. Send us a picture, and we'll send it to JP. Um, but in golf, uh, we had the Travelers Championship. It's not on there, but I know. Uh, uh, Who cares? It's not even a. Th- it's not even real anymore because now it's Live and PGA are uh, they're combining. Merging, they're merging and, together. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I hate it. I don't like it. All right. Well, I was excited to watch golf all weekend. Mm, I'm glad. Uh, But more importantly, the fun shit. I I thought, I don't know if this is 100% true. There's a whole bunch of people covering this, and there actually are tweets that are showing that they are agreeing upon this. However, uh, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg have agreed to fight in a cage match. Yeah, I'd watch that. Dude. I think everybody would. Zuckerberg, he's going to fucking destroy Elon Musk, dude. This is so sad. Destroy. This is you think? So sad. Yeah. No more. No more. Fucking. Uh, he's dead. I mean, he's gonna kill him. Why? Because I, he's huge. Have you seen Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg's, like? Zuckerberg's small. Zuckerberg's like five Nobody's seven. But he's fucking been not, working out. He's been doing MMA. He's fucking been doing this. That's that's not. Elon Musk is six one six two. Zuckerberg's like five seven. This is Elon's true. Elon's got like a foot of reach on him. He's way huger than him. And doesn't Elon have a background in some sort of MMA or jujitsu or if, something? If he does, I don't know about it. All I know is is I can't wait to see it. Elon Musk is fifty two, and Mark Zuckerberg is. 39 that's the thing that bothers me the yes. most i don't want to see a guy over 50 get punched <laughs> in, in the shorts. face and <laughs> i no like shirt. whether you like either of these guys or not they've taken like technology in the united states farther than probably any other two people sure maybe b- throw bezos in there too as one of the but anyway, like if either one of them have serious injury because of this, it's gonna like fuck up the future of of their smartness, you know. That's kind of what. Did I you hope. know they're all doing like secret experiments on people in caves and shit? Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent, absolutely, yeah. they are. Uh, but I just. I don't know if <laughs> as I, an aside, what as well, one would do, and they've yeah. got billions of dollars and nothing to do. I know, I know. Zuckerberg has actually been working on jujitsu, and I thought, okay, he's working on it. But in the the video oh, I hope footage, he wins. the video footage that I have seen, uh, it looks like the guy that we call they call it rolling with uh, is. It looks like it's it's choreographed to a certain point, like he's letting him roll with yes, him. Yes, and that's kind of what you're supposed to do when you're training but but i have not seen an athletic elon musk do anything i'd like to see (laughs) either of them fight you i i I probably would beat the shit out of mark zuckerberg oh i don't think so yeah i'd love to see that i would i'd I'd love love to see see that dude i i i have enough of a background in wrestling and brazilian jiu-jitsu and i know enough around a mat that i do not have confidence that mark zuckerberg could do anything uh that is dangerous to me not that i don't think that you're like worth uh notoriety and that you're not popular but i feel like america and the world would be really disappointed (laughs) if zuckerberg was like no i'm not (laughs) fighting elon musk I'm, I'm fighting, fighting Scotty, Scotty instead. Scotty German. Yeah. Uh, he would be like, I'm, what? That's I, way less cool. I am deceptively athletic. <laughs> I have put on pounds. I put on the LBs since college. Uh, but no, I can I can still I can still roll every once in a while. But I, I, I hope this goes on. In fact, I kind of want it to be, hey, whoever loses gets the other's company. Uh, but then it, that could no. also be backfiring. Yeah. So don't do that. Yeah, absolutely. Because... <laughs> 
because things happen. But the uh, what's his name? Dana White came out and said, "Yeah, I've talked to both of these guys. They're both serious. They'll, they'll yeah. both agree to do it, and they're going to make uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in charity." Oh yeah, Wh- who roll or who who uh, gets Rogan to train with him? I don't. I would imagine Rogan being an announcer for it. Oh, one hundred percent, or a referee or official or something like that. But yeah, you're probably right. But I would assume like these guys are getting training. Like I saw Zuckerberg training with Lex. Did you see that? No, I would train with Kimbo. Yeah, Slice. Lex Lex Friedman. He's rolling with Lex Friedman. Didn't he died. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Who Kimbo Slice? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. I'd Poor still guy. train with him. Uh, okay, that would be weird. Uh, but no, I, I I think this would be really really awesome to see, but also very very depressing. Uh, but last but certainly not least, the highlight of the show today, we've got to talk about it. Uh, the Ocean Gate Titan submarine implodes and immediately kills all inside. They are starting to recover debris. Very sad tale. Uh, tale. That's not even tale. It's it, not a tale. It's, it's not fucking tale. real life, It's Scotty. real life. This happened. It's uh, a bunch of fucking rich men. I, I don't care about how decided, much they make. No, they decided, you know what? We have fucking so much money. Nothing bad could ever happen to us. And then some guy was like, hey, guys, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build a sub. I'm going to use parts from Home Depot. (laughs) Pretty much. I am going to take it down to depths that it is not rated for. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know. See, I don't feel bad. By the the way, it's only going to cost you $250,000 a person. So bargain. (laughs) I mean, who wouldn't have went? I would have gone. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't. There's no way in hell. I am terrified of the ocean, period. Yeah, me too. What man. makes That's... me want to go deep down? But I don't have anything like bad to see. I mean, if those folks were, were very wealthy, I'm sure that they earned it somehow. And I don't I don't fault them for anything. Mm. Um, it's it's I fault the guy. I, I fault the creator of this fucking Said ocean. Like, yeah. 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 Said like a fucking true Republican. No, absolutely <laughs> not. It's no. I mean, I don't, I'm not blaming people with no, money for I don't having care. money. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying at oh, all. I'm oh, just saying okay. if you're that fucking stupid to get in that submarine yeah, and go under the water, that's, that's what I'm talking it's about. The adventure thing, you know, like sure. it's yeah. like diving off of a, of a cliff into water. No, it's no. not you, the same. If you hit the rocks at the bottom, then people were like, well, of course you shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> you fucking idiot. But when you land, people are like, oh my God, that's so scary. But here's the, here's the thing that you can't even compare it to that everybody's trying to closely uh, compare it to which is okay well if you spent out two hundred fifty thousand dollars a person to go to outer space uh would you do it and it's like well hang on a second we've got tons and tons and tons of like trips to go to outer well to break the actual barrier to consider it outer space or whatever i'm not saying go to the fucking moon but this is this is like a whole new different ball game other than a fucking submarine an actual military submarine tank uh you don't have carbon fiber anything going down to such depths and coming out unscathed well, they i have, don't even know they if, have if, subs. if military subs can go down no, to where the titanic can. is you can may they? Be, you may be they correct have, but they have some i would subs trust because that over over this but these are regulated these subs that can do it are regulated and they fucking have been tested and by remote not with people inside of them there's people in there it, but no. it, it, it's like the hot air balloon of today, you know. It's like Ed, you know, we can't control it or drive yeah, it or anything. No just get in it. And I just don't understand what they there. were thinking. I, they, I don't either. You, you, I mean, the red flag of hey, this thing is controlled by a Logitech video game remote control. By the way, they recovered it. I saw it. It, it was in one piece. I'm <laughs> just like, yeah, oh, it just like the shit. just like the dude's passport on 911. And that's yeah. what makes me yeah. think that it was all just a fake psyop to get us talking about <laughs> something else. Plus, I, instead okay. of the president's son going I mean, I'll down have to for be bribery, the Derek. oh no, I have to be the Derek. I think it might have been a conspiracy. Oh, okay, all right. Well, what's you because got? Because look, you the, look at the people that were in it. They're all billionaires. Did any of them know? They're all like any of them know the Clintons? Illuminati. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're <laughs> all friends oh, with the Clintons. Makes sense. Yeah, uh-huh. but you know they're probably off somewhere making decisions for the rest of us. And we think they're dead, but they're not really dead. I know. What proof do we have besides, like, the video of some shady guy the being like, guy, yep, sending them down the one, now. They were, like, taking questions, and the one reporter's like, excuse me, excuse me, are they going to recover the bodies? And the fucking dude just looks down, and he's like, I don't know that there are any bodies to recover. <laughs> Fuck. 
Right, which it's, is the perfect true. answer. There are, because they're not even, they weren't even in there. If they weren't even in there, uh, then there would be no bodies. They had go down and get them out of there, and then the fucking oh, then, boom. No. Imploded. No, no. And they admitted that the military instantly knew the minute that it imploded. Oh, five days. And they they no, they was still spent five days looking for it, even though they knew it was gone. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, they, they totally admitted it. And, that and they sense. looked everywhere that it wasn't first <laughs> so that they could prolong it. Right. And they're like, wait a minute, let's check down by the Titanic. <laughs> and I'll be goddamn, there it was. <laughs> That that is kind of that's kind of fuck up fucked up and shady to me. That part yeah, is some shit is like, some shit knew. is fucked. They knew right away. Right away they immediately they heard, it. heard it. They heard it. Yes, and and, it, and it's not like a questionable sound like that. No. Is, that is a thunk. And, even, and you know it. even the guy that fucking James Cameron. They, yeah, they interviewed him and he's like, well, he goes, you know, you put two and two together and. It's just bad news. <laughs> I know. I these are some of, some of these guys are my friends, and he said I immediately called their family and told them that it sounds like they're not coming home. <laughs> I was like, good for you, James Cameron. Way to be a realist. On yeah, the even he knows that they uh, were gone. Yeah, but no, and and all of the and all of the science behind it is correct. Like when the implosion actually happened, like MythBusters did this exact experiment. Yeah, yeah years I saw that ago. clip the other day. It wasn't even just that one. It was the one um, with the 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 pressure and stuff like that where it, even if the dive suit withholds the pressure it actually sucks your asshole all the way up to your head almost immediately so jp you'd have a great say time. no more somebody loaned me two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> no so, i i saw some so on yeah. some science yeah. thing they said it takes you like 25 milliseconds. either milliseconds or microseconds to blink your eye and this implosion took place over like 1.5 milliseconds yeah, so it, like wow. not even fast enough to think like oh fuck yeah yeah, exactly. Just like instant, it's over, which is the ideal way to die. For How do you, sure. maybe that all five of them were uh, uh, terminally ill. Yeah, we just don't know it. Right. And they're like, yeah, we're going to go see the Titanic maybe. But right. like best case scenario, you're going to die faster than you can blink your eyes. That so. was a very, very expensive trip to yeah. go down and be with those who perish with the titanic do you think they met some of those people like oh one the moment after the moment after the, all the ghosts of the titanic Absolutely. came to them they walked up that same spiral yeah, staircase dude. man Fucking but it was like uh, rose and jack it was like the end of lost so like even though they died 150 years later or whatever then i don't know the time i don't yeah. remember it was way less than yeah. that like 90 years later yeah. but they all appear there at the same moment the same and they're moment. like wait were you on and they're like no we were 100 years later <laughs> yeah but what's up? When did the Titanic? Was it 1918? I'm pretty I believe it was 1912. That sounds that sounds a little bit. That sounds because right. the Federal Reserve started in 1913. Maybe that. Okay. It wasn't even the Titanic. It was the uh, Britannia. Britannia. That's yeah. At the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've heard that so many times and I'm just like. I buy it. Dude, there's Come so on. many. They do it on purpose. There's so many conspiracies out there that just bringing up one, people are like, oh, so you probably believe. And I'm like, yeah, I believe that one, too. <laughs> they all fucking make sense. They're, that's what I like about new Twitter now, like not yeah. censoring that kind of stuff. I saw a video today of a fucking missile flying into the Pentagon, and people are like, where's the wings, bro? You can go back and actually see the wings. Can you? Yeah. Ah, well, see, what the fuck do I know about anything? So that's kind of my whole thing when it comes down to like, okay, I, I, I like a show and I'm not going to give it away what it is, but there's this guy that basically was looking at all of these really old, ancient, um, early people, civilizations, and all of their windows were looking in certain directions and they decided from this documentary, oh, Maybe okay. Maybe this this documentary sounds with ancient Schmalians, um, but they're like windows of their houses pointed to a particular constellation of a star, or it's a right around that thereabouts, or the windows are pointed in the direction that the fucking sun happened to be setting to allow light into the fucking house. It depends on how somebody presents something and how believable it is. So before you go and believe shit like that, do a little bit of research. Yeah. Anyways. But, uh, yeah, that is the current events for this week. My Our hearts and, and prayers and thoughts and things like that go, go out, out to, to the Detroit Lions <laughs> for those stupid fucking looking helmets. That and the families of those who of lost Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> who could die in the ring. They could. 
and definitely not those people who went down in the submarine to go see the Titanic. Oh, don't say that. Just kidding. We Our thoughts and prayers definitely go out to them. Too. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah, exactly. That's it's, all so that we positive got. Positive thoughts. Positive prayers How and much thoughts. does that weigh? A, a lot. Key, a lot, man. A lot. It's just holding oh, me down. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so that was the current events. Now we get to get on to the fun fun. You know, the fun parts of the re- are the reasons why you guys actually listen to this show. We got overrated or underrated and any of the segments following this, guys, if you have any suggestions for this, which we do have a couple of fan suggestions this week, uh, send them to us, which is going to be at Twitter, at L-O-T Sidelines. I'm getting more uh, messages from that group of people than I do any more of Instagram. So if you don't already follow us on Twitter, start doing that because that's where shit looks like it's moving. Anyways, first one, we're going to go with overrated or underrated. Pushing over a porta potty with someone inside. Have you ever really done this? 100%. You have? 100%. You're a real piece of shit, That's man. That's a dick-ass thing that to do, man. That's a dick-ass thing to do. I was in high school, and it was oh. at a baseball tournament, and a, uh, the catcher of our team was uh, mm. in taking a shit, Mm-mm-mm. and we all knew it. And oh, that's horrible. Me and man. two other buddies went and drop-kicked the shit out of this porta potty uh. and knocked it the fuck over, and that kid did not get to play in the doubleheader that day. He went home, and uh, yeah, it was bad. Are you still friends with them? Uh, believe it or not, I, I haven't seen him in many, many years, but his uh, little brother started dating a friend from work, so I will see him probably very soon. I'm sure he'll fucking punch you in the fucking dome. I don't think he remembers that. I'm oh, pretty I guarantee sure he does. He remembers I guarantee it. you he remembers he that. He thinks about oh, it yeah, every he time he sits on the toilet. <laughs> he probably doesn't use porta potty. He'd rather shit his pants than uh-huh. walk into another porta potty. I'll put it this way as well. Mark Zuckerberg doesn't scare me at all. This guy, oh fuck. Yeah, you're gonna get <laughs> oh, punched, I'm man. Get punched. You deserve it. I say it is definitely overrated. <laughs> well, if I get punched. No, overrated pushing someone over in a porta potty. I know, but I did that, and now I'm going to get punched. Well, then that's underrated. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Punching you is underrated. Pushing yeah. over porta potties yeah. with someone inside is very overrated. I say it's underrated. It was a great time. And mm. it's a memory. It's a memory you will never forget. Yeah. But, I mean, I I will never forget. I've got some memories some terrible that I've memories. got. Yeah, I've got some <laughs> terrible memories like that that I Never just, forgetting yeah. doesn't automatically make it a good no. thing. No. There are definitely situations in our lives whenever something is really not funny when it happens, but, but hilarious years later, this is what Also those opposite because, yeah. <laughs> I've got some stuff that I thought was real funny when we did when we were in high school. Years Now from- looking back on it, I'm like, well... I'm going to have to answer for that one. Uh Just imagine years from now, the submarine that imploded is kind of going to be a funny joke, right? I think it already I mean, yeah, it was a funny joke the moment moment they, before they even (laughs) verified verified they were dead. People were like, they're probably dead. (laughs) Fucking billionaires. (laughs) The one I saw was uh, something about... um, I have my face. I hope we have enough air. And then it was the sub, but uh, George Floyd's face was on the front of the sub. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. I was like, holy fuck. Oh, man. My favorite one Derek ever did, I got to give him props to that one, was right after Stuart Scott from ESPN passed away. Derek gets on Facebook and goes, so I hear ESPN's hiring. <laughs> and everybody was like, Jesus Christ, give mm. it 30 days. And Derek immediately repired, er, replied, yeah, but in 30 days, they won't be hiring. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that's great. Uh uh, but anyways, All right. uh, next one, overrated or underrated, open mic night. Uh, underrated. Uh, obviously underrated, yeah. Way underrated. Oh, okay. I mean, it, 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 that's like saying... Uh, is studying for school overrated or underrated? And it's like, yeah, it, it might suck to do, but it must be done. That's kind of, I really like this because I wanted actual comedians to answer this question instead of Derek. I'm glad Derek's not here. So I think I've, Derek's an actual <laughs> comedian. I know. He's Wichita's funniest comedian in 2012. Uh, 21. Oh, uh, 21. Uh, but Even better. Wow. Anyways, Impressive. No, but I don't think, like somebody in my, my situation, which I, I'm actually considering doing stand up. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I hope you do. Oh, man. No. I Oh, God, that would be fucking glorious. Uh, no, it's not going to happen. There's an open mic tomorrow night I no, can take you to. Fuck you. Absolutely Dude, not. It's going to be a blast. Dude, free hot dogs, too. I don't want you to do it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just hold me back. It's just my like my own personal. I, I don't, oh, don't worry. He's not going to be good. I don't want you to end no, up better at it than me. Be, don't worry. You're he's like, not I'm just doing good, this dude. for fun. Have you seen I, this show? <laughs> <laughs> People uh, like Scotty. Yeah, dude, actually. I, I doubt that. 
I, this is a person personality I play on this show. I can actually be pretty fucking funny. If okay, I want we'll to. see. Anyway, he plays a personality. Yeah, to- All right. <laughs> totally. Uh, but no, it's especially for somebody from me, I get very uncomfortable when I watch like auditioning shows. So yeah. like America's Got Talent, um, The Voice, stuff like that. I I can't watch those shows because they always like to highlight the people who are absolutely awful who think they're amazing at something. So yeah, that's you. Yeah, me. Yeah, Duh. I can't wait. <laughs> no, but like, um, that's why I can't. I don't like to go to open mic nights. First, you're gonna do open mic night, and then Zuckerberg's just gonna come out from <laughs> nowhere and just kick your fucking just, ass. Just knock me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but no, that's a really big thing. I, I know people who have done open mic, and it's very intimidating whenever you do them, right? Because you you no. want. Yo, it's, well, it I depends on the person. It depends on who you are because okay. that's where I get all my shit. Like right. I don't write. I don't, I don't really write. Oh, I okay. go to an open mic and I talk about whatever. And then I'm like, oh, that worked. Uh, that was good. I can elaborate on that. And then I write. Yeah. I don't pre, I don't like pre write. I do the opposite. I yeah. was going to say most successful comedians, which makes sense. That's why Mike has a special uh, that's coming out. But don't you? Mike is special. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, but no, I would assume that most people, in order to do an open mic, have to have a good solid 15 to 20 minutes of stuff ready no. to go. Not Dave Chappelle. I mean, if you're He's doing an open popular. mic, you're doing three minutes or oh, five minutes. Oh, that's what minutes. it is? Yeah. I don't know what time. Yeah, it's no, but it believe me, it can feel like a really long time, mm. depending on how shitty you are. Or how, if you're in the audience, three minutes can feel like a really long time. My favorite is when people go up there and just eat shit. Do you like that? <laughs> I mean, I like to watch the first 10 seconds of it, but then I go outside and smoke because I'm yeah. like, I don't want to fucking watch this. I've seen I it too many it. times yeah. in my I life. I love it. It's I love it every so time. It never gets old. Oh, it's yeah. And that's why I like it. Well, and the worst, or the, I, maybe the best, is when the person wants to talk to you before the show. Like, yeah, man, I've been writing for a couple of years now. I've probably got 40 five minutes of stuff and and then they, they can't go up to their three, three minute yeah. open mic and they're like uh and another thing and i'm like is this part of the 45 you were speaking of and then they come up to you afterwards what'd you think man right yeah hey will you watch my video <laughs> yeah. that you saw tonight yeah no it's uh, uh it's a new world that we're living in what's but. what's worse that or or at the end of your show, somebody from the audience comes up to you and goes, man, that was really funny, but you should try this. Oh, that, that happens every, every show. time. Yeah. Every time. It happens a lot. And it's probably, I would say, 5% of the time, I'm like, God damn it, that is really funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the I'd other 95%, I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll bet. keep it in mind. It Come in back mind. and see me. Yeah. See uh-huh, you. Yeah. yeah, buy tickets next time yeah. also, and maybe I'll do your joke. Maybe I'll do you what you told me to do. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say overrated, So, but you guys say underrated. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next one. Uh, I'm going to cut this a little bit off this one, but overrated or underrated, the 4th of July. Yeah. Yep. yep. Oh, I mean, uh, underrated. Underrated? Like, <laughs> my answer was yes, I accept underrated. the 4th of July. Okay. I'm going to say underrated. Now, the 4th of July in the Midwest. I think it's the same as fucking the 4th of July everywhere else. No, yeah. the 4th of You're July wrong. is 1776. The 4th of July, when like not all, all of the people signed the Declaration of Independence. I think even people in Hawaii, though, are like, fuck yeah, America, buddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, we kind of just included them. They're yeah. way the fuck out there. But in we're, Alaska. Yeah, Alaska, I think... I think they get down with some fourth of Fuck July. Yeah, shit. they do. And of our fifty-first s- state, Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine. <laughs> wow. Uh, no. They have. They've had Fourth of July now for quite a while. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, they <laughs> celebrate the they've same way. Cel- yeah. They're celebrating. That we do Pride right Month. Now. Yeah. They're uh. like it's it's Explosion Month here in Ukraine. <laughs> shit, that's so terrible. Did you uh, hear about that? Uh, what the the uh, the fake coup? Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah, I heard I about like, it. Dude, that was so bad. Wagner. The Wagner group. Yeah. And they pretended like they were fucking, yeah. We're coming to get you. Yeah, no. And then they, it was like. Just the, kidding. The best meme that I saw of that was that scene from Braveheart where the king standing there watching uh, Mel Gibson's team or whatever. Yeah. And they're like running headfirst at the other team of warriors. And they all stop right in the middle and like hug each other and high five and shit. <laughs> and the king's like, what? What? the book you're supposed to fight yeah funny uh anyways uh i'm gonna say underrated as well uh next one oh 
Overrated or underrated? Receiving a blow job on a roller coaster. I mean, I prefer giving. <laughs> Can the the coaster does all the work for you, huh? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, you yes. just got to, like, maintain the position yep. and then just, like, limp your body a yep. little bit. As long as you can get your head in between the lap bar and fucking the boner, you're in good shape. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the only thing I thought through this whole ordeal is those roller coasters that have really steep, like, right, they go straight down. Just imagine that change of force of gravity when you got somebody just, whoa! Yeah, dude, that's my favorite part. <laughs> I mean, just, it's it's deep throating it for you. So I, exactly. So underrated. underrated. Way underrated. <laughs> now, my first thought was just if the girl has braces or something. Oh, that God. wouldn't be good. I just imagine, like, getting uh, my wiener all cut up. Captain yeah. Shredder right that there. That would be good. That would not be good. And yeah. a, a, an adult that has braces. <laughs> Even worse. I just, <laughs> I those just wanted to clarify. Are bigger. Right. Right. I just want to clarify. I'm not I, talking about a 12 year old. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, shit. Uh, but no, I think that, I mean, this is a very interesting You could have been situation. 12 at the time, too. Nobody knows. Right. I know. So, I mean, I don't know why you felt the need to clarify that. <laughs> I just know. As conscience. Me as a 42 year old yeah. at, at Worlds of Fun in Kansas uh, City, Missouri. Oh, Jesus. If, if anything's going to make you puke, just the roller coaster should do it. But I have a feeling this would make this would make it worse. Yeah, I love it. I think way underrated. <laughs> I've never blown a dude, and I would hate for the first time <laughs> to, to have to be on a coaster. roller coaster. You're right. You should start off way slower than that. <laughs> Probably good training, though. Uh, so <sighs> anybody, anybody want to talk your wife into doing this, uh, i give it a thumbs up. Go for it. Uh, and last but not least. <laughs> we yeah. give it a thumbs up here. Yeah. Do it. Make her, make her do it. Or ask her to do it nicely. You know, you need consent for you that. You can shit. just start small what? and do, go through like the grocery store parking lot uh, in your car what? and get blown and go over the speed bumps and stuff. <laughs> That's good practice for actually doing the roller coaster thing. <laughs> JP, just How's re- this going to work? <laughs> Well, let me ask you. Know, we'll All find, right. we'll find out. She's we'll going to need help. We're trying to break this down. All right. But overrated or underrated? Um, quadruple amputee strippers she's still got a pussy doesn't she <laughs> i mean what <laughs> i don't know maybe they roll around <laughs> how's this gonna work <laughs> i don't know well they still have nubbins i mean what if they have all of the what, what if they have like, i don't like this artificial I don't like this <laughs> that's how i felt during blowjob fine. talk okay fine he has you know um artificial arms and legs i've seen people that have this and they're they're fully functional yeah. Yeah. Just Br- uh, what's the guy's name? Brett uh, Eastburn, yeah. I think, is a comedian that doesn't have arms or legs. Yeah. And he fucking just hops all around, dude. Sure does. Does a great job. Yeah. Uh, but it depends. You say amputee. So to me, that means like you had arms and legs right. until sure. something terrible happened. Well, I mean, and you were you... a stripper then, so you're a stripper <laughs> right. now. It's like, it's all, it's all I know. It's all, all I've been doing my whole life. <laughs> I, well, maybe, uh, maybe it's overrated. They underrated. look like pillow pets. <laughs> I, mean, I remember, remember yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, <laughs> gosh? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> My God, that made me cough. I remember pillow pets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but no. Underrated, I, I, I guess. I mean, I, at least. Yeah. I have to go to a show to t- to say for sure. <laughs> Well, and that seems like a very broad, th- you know, it's like, hey, do you like strippers with no arms and no legs? And it's like, well, I want to see gotta them work first, I gotta right? See, right. Right. We'll see how it goes first. Because I bet there's a few that are like, wow, dude, that's actually pretty fucking cool what they're right? doing. What if, they just tied them, like, oh. what if they just tied them to bungee cords and flung them across <laughs> the stage? Like, that would be kind of cool. It actually would be, yeah. That would be. And they had just somebody like at each to, end to, like, grab right. an article of clothing as yeah. they as they yeah, bounce like by. That. It's all yeah. held on by Velcro, just right easy on. access. I like that. On. I like that. This sounds like fun. This this sounds like a like an Plus, episode. They of, would have less clothes to take off, so this is just it make it easier. You don't have yeah. arms to just get a around. big night shirt. Right. <laughs> That's what they wear out there. 
<laughs> just a nightshirt that's dirty on the yeah, bottom. Yes, <laughs> it's a for t- sure because it's been dragging. <laughs> it's a tube top that doesn't need any help to come off. Oh, oh man, that's poor girl. Wow, oh, man. I kind of want to meet her though. <laughs> I do yeah. too. So that's kind of the thing. I think this is way underrated. Why? I'm going underrated. I'm going one time at least just yeah. to see what the big fuss is all about. I'm gonna say overrated. I've seen too many. Yeah. Okay. They're old now. Okay, old that's news. fine. It's just it's not entertaining anymore. Oh shit. Well that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to the slightly adjusted segment, which is fuck them, like them, like or love them. Uh, how, these are, how about like them, love them, or fuck them? Oh, okay, we'll go with that. Like them, love them, or fuck them. Why don't we go with fuck them, like them, or love them this week, and then you can switch it up <laughs> again next week? Okay, yeah. yeah. That seems to be the theme. All right, sounds good. How about, um, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Go okay, ahead. okay. Like them, love them, or fuck them. Uh, first one, these are people that have particular traits or uh, things that they do, whether you like it, love it, or you want to fuck them. Uh, first one. People who drive off with the gas pump handle still attached to the car. Fuck them. <laughs> Why? Why? Because that is a pain in the ass to fix. Because <laughs> JP worked at a drive yeah, or a gas yeah, station. For 12 years. I think the How technologies. Oh, countless. <laughs> You don't even want to know. I mean, you couldn't even. I couldn't even keep count. And like, it, I've actually done that before, <laughs> but it didn't. JP fixed it. It didn't rip the hose out. It just no, it, it came it, out of my car. Oh, it did. Though that's good. That's good. Yeah. Usually the hose rips out. And that's a pain in the. I can ass. imagine that being a pain in the. And when it happened, I was just like, "You fucking idiot!" Like I assume every single person that does it is just thinking about something else at the moment. They're one not time, doing it on purpose. One time at uh Pony and Rock, a uh, guy drove off with it, and then I never saw him again. We, he never brought it back or anything. He's just <laughs> like fucking. I saw him drive dad drive away, and he still had it in there. And uh, you know, I've seen that before, and then they always come back. They're and like, they're like, "Oh, oh my god, I'm I so can't sorry." Believe. Never saw the fucking guy again. What's, yeah, where were you at? Pony and Rock. Are you shocked with that? No. Okay. Just making sure that no, I'm never shocked. The quality of persona oh, yeah. that's down yeah. there. Okay. I mean, if I would have done it, I would have not. I would never go to that gas station again because yeah. I'd be like, I'm a fool. I'm embarrassing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, I love, right. I fucking love these people. These people are great. <laughs> these are entertainment for everybody around. And uh, I might follow them for a couple of miles. And then try to pull up right next to him and do try to run the up. hose over. Just, just. Fucking <laughs> stop. When they stop at the light, you try to yes. stop on top of the hose. That way, when they take oh. off. Or just tap on their window and be like, fill her up. Uh, yeah. How much did like, you want, wait, sir? What? I, I, I just got reminded about myself. Remember how a couple of weeks ago I told you guys that the people that park a mile away from the entrance of a, of a place so they can be and, first out and take four or take up four parking spaces. I encountered one of those people this week and I tried, I tried to park as close to that. Oh person. yeah. Nice. You, know, you know what? You know, who told me to not to do it. My wife, your wife, fucking Don't wives. Be like Don't She's be smart. Dick. Always ruining the fun. I think that's Stupid a smart wife. move. <sighs> Yeah, you're right. I don't know how big that guy is. Whenever he Plus, back you, didn't you just get a new truck? I did. You don't want it all fucked up. True. Okay, uh, next one. Like them, love them, or fuck them. People who claim everything is racist. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. That question is a little bit racist, though. See? Like, what kind of people <laughs> are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> I know what kind. <laughs> I think we all know what kind. Uh, psh- Whoa! Hey, yo! Old fucking racy over here. <laughs> oh, Derek's at work. Um, but anyways, yeah, no, I don't. I I don't. I grew up in the '90s. I grew up in a time of we don't see color. Yeah, don't and then somewhere around like 2014, that's exactly what I was going to say. Saying I don't see color started becoming racist in itself. Yeah, and you're like, wait, aren't we all supposed to be equal and not give a fuck about the color of someone's whatever? That's what Doctor. That's what Darton, Dr. Martin Luther King said. Yeah, like yeah. I, I don't have a problem with any particular group, but I have problems with people from every group, right. I, individuals. 100%. Like, but that doesn't mean that I hate that group. No, you know? I know, I just hate Jenny's son. I don't hate all Asians. Just fuck Jenny. <laughs> well, and like I'm. Oh, Jenny's son, not Jenny's son. 
Yeah. Yeah, but oh, it's okay. the same. That was her Got name, you. and she was fucking mean. Yeah. And she and, was fucking mean, and I don't like her. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not because. Yeah, right. I still like That's, Lindsay's son. Yeah, <laughs> my my Jenny's sister. I I say fuck them too because this this is bad. But the people that are like doing it to virtual virtue signal pisses me off yeah. way worse. Yeah. So yeah, fuck these people. Fuck them. J- JP, fuck them. Cool. Fuck them. Next one. Like them, love them, or fuck them. People who finish, finish your, your sentence, sentence for you. you. Love them. I love it. <laughs> love them. Uh, fuck them. Yep. <laughs> fuck them. Really? I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like when people do it during comedy. Oh, yeah. Because that happens a lot where it's like part of the humor of the joke is the pause but they'll just yell out the punchline during the pause, and I'm like, Bachelor "You son party. of a Bachelorette bitch!" Bachelorette parties, yes, they're the worst. I, I, it's just, this, it's this weird fucking thing that like you're positively reinforced to do that sometimes because you have conversations with people where they're th- trying to think about something and then they won't get it, and then you'll finish it for them, and they'll go, "Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Thank you." Right? Yeah. But then you do it to everybody who doesn't need it, and that pisses those people off. So it's kind of a catch-22. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, next one, like them, love them, or fuck them, people who call to bitch at the head coach of the T-ball team. People do this? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Fuck them. They're idiots. My kid's not playing enough. Why the fuck? Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck them. They these these Karens. Uh, yeah, they should not be parents. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah, we should take their children and kill I agree. them <laughs> and kill them, not the kid. Both. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, because the kid's gonna grow up to be just like them. Yeah, right. Like we 100%. fucking cut this off at the yeah, root. That's right. Obviously, T ball is a little extreme, but like the high school, and like when you're in high school, and if you have a parent that's trying to call the coach, you should be playing more than than so and so. No, you should. It depends on the parent and it depends on the coach because like, I don't know, there's different scenarios where I could see like a shitty coach being like taught something by a parent that's like, dude, I'm telling you, do it like this. And then the coach is like, why don't you fucking coach him then? And then he becomes the coach and then then they win the fucking championship. Right. I know. That sounds like a good movie. What I was getting ready to say, what Disney movie do you think this is? This never happens. But no, it's always like just parents that uh, are just coddling their children and and their kids crying because they didn't get the thing that they wanted and the parents just calling to bitch about it. I don't want to say fuck them, but I don't love them either. My, That's why I'm glad okay. there's a third option. Now. I, I love, still like them. Yeah. I hate the ones that are calling to bitch about their own kid, but I love the ones that are calling like, I can't fucking believe you put Jimmy into pitch in the fucking eighth. <laughs> That's why we lost the goddamn game. You know Jimmy can't fucking pitch. <laughs> yeah, I could support that. I like parent. that guy. It says nothing. To, he's like, look, yeah. my son's doing fine. I'm not yeah. fucking worried about Jimmy's him. Jimmy's the what one I'm fucking Jimmy worried doing? about. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, I love them. No, fuck all of them. Fuck all of them. No, I, I just uh, no. Stay out of it. They're a coach for a reason. If if and my least favorite is the ones that's like, listen, I played baseball back in high school in, in 1988, and yeah. I was first team all state. I know my shit. And try to be like, oh yeah, you should put this guy here and this guy. It's like Jimmy should be a shut shortstop. The fuck no, up. Is, on the mound. That reminds me of a question. Like like baseball. If if I learned baseball in 1989. Could I still use all of that exact knowledge in 2023 and be good at baseball? Yeah, the the fundamentals, sure. And is the same true (laughs) with like chess? Is there like new? Has have people figured out new things to do in chess in the last twenty years? Why chess? Who? What expert chess player here do you know of? I just thought you would know everything there is to know about chess. Baseball, sure. Golf, eh. Bowling. I'm your man. There you Has go. bowling improved? I mean, I've oh, heard yeah. of people it's bowling a, a 300 Jesus. 20 no, years ago, right? Did you not see yeah, the balls that Fred Flintstone was rolling at those bones? Do you use different. the holes in I the do. ball? I do. You put your fingers in the holes? Yeah. So you're not one of those guys that just grabs the whole ball? Even those guys that just grabs the whole ball, they still have finger holes. They just don't use their thumb. You don't use your thumb? 
You don't use I them. do. <laughs> I think but the two handers, they don't use their thumb. <laughs> I think my problem with bowling was I always used the whole like, fist. I'm sure you did. My yeah. fingers would get <laughs> stuck in the ball my, and it would My hole's very large. <laughs> it's just one <laughs> big hole in the center of the ball and I just put just my whole fist, fist it. in it. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> he and, uses uh, Mr. It's like fist like those squirrel yeah. traps or what are those like yeah. raccoon traps? <laughs> they won't let go yeah. of the cheese. Yeah. So, oh, that's God. how you catch them. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Last but not least, like them, love them or fuck them people who write checks at the grocery store oh, i can't believe that they're still thing as a <laughs> that i don't I know why you're making fun of my grandma <laughs> yeah that's the only people that do it so uh, i Mike, said go ahead it's only old people <clears throat> yes so you can't say fuck them because that's not right that's not nice i exactly love them <clears throat> i love them i yep. love my grandma yep and yes, no, she still writes, I'll go, go like pick up a gallon of milk for her. And she'll be like, how much was it? And I'm like, 323. And she's, All right, I'll write you a check. And I'm like, Grandma, just wait until you owe me like $20 or something. And then write a check for that. Oh, no, I don't want to get behind. Yeah. I'm like, All she right. She puts in her ledger. It's, yeah. it's yeah. Thankfully, it's being phased out because anymore, it's going to the self-checkout aisles and shit like that. But in uh, the, a small town north of here, they do still have a uh, a place where you can write checks to to buy groceries. And oh, you can still write checks at the self checkout. Yeah. Oh, can you really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just have to have the person that comes over to like punch in their code or whatever. They have to it's help. It's an you. option. You can put check. Then, yeah. Stop it! No, nope. believe me. Yeah, oh, I've been through it in the last me. month. Yeah, oh, this I, I got a buddy that still writes checks. Uh, we'll play we'll play poker together sometimes, and he'll be <laughs> like, "Hey man, I don't have enough for the buy in. You care? Would you pay it?" And I write you a check because he doesn't have a debit card. He doesn't have a credit card. He, is that his way of like not blowing money on dumb shit? It's yeah, kind of smart. Yeah. I mean, it's not smart to play <clears throat> poker and have to write a check. He's for running it, for mayor. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. yeah. I was I want to no, run. No, he really for, is. I believe you No, he's running for mayor of somebody, the city. Somebody who's bad with money? Yeah, that's no, who I want to elect. No, he's good with money. Oh, okay. He's just, good because he, he never had to have He a, writes a check he for writes poker, checks dude. for everything. Great Does that with, sound like a fucking idiot to you? Great with money, gambling addiction. Yep. They yeah, go he, hand in I'm going to run for mayor also. You are. Congratulations. Yeah. I'll vote for you. Cuz yeah. fuck that guy with his checks and poker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck that guy. All right, uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram, but mainly at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. Uh, first one, what is a conversation you would... N- oh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. <laughs> what is a convention you would never want to be invited to? The Republican Lesbians of America. Oh, I think it's a great one. No. Nope. Just kidding. Both uh, very angry groups. <laughs> <laughs> and when you when they come together, it's bad, all oh, bad. Had to put only bad together. things would happen. I uh, I this actually happened very very recently, and I am so glad I did not go. But the the ancient aliens uh, were here in town, and I did not go. Got invited. The show, you mean? Yeah. Yes, it was not, kind of a not convention. actual aliens not actual from aliens. The times past. I, I mean, they could they could have been here. Yeah, I have no idea. Of course, I mean, I think they travel with the show. <laughs> The, yeah, but Those the thing is... They? The aliens? Yeah, right? I think they travel with them. It was a convention <laughs> to hear guy with fucking crazy-ass hair talk. He was there. Uh, Christopher I, Lloyd. No, the no, guy. I know who you're talking you about. You know who I'm talking about. The the, the guy of Ancient the Aliens. Guy. Everybody knows. The him. idea of those shows are good, but the it just... The practices. Yeah, well, I mean, apart. the first season was interesting, and it was like lore, historic things that we've heard about before, and then they're... Like the producers and the people who run the channel and shit are just like, all right, we got signed for nine more seasons. Let's and start like, making some shit up. Right. They're like, yeah. I don't know if we have nine yeah. seasons of alien stories. <laughs> oh, you goddamn better. Uh, yeah, but no, I, I could not do that shit. I can tell you one I would love to go to that I severely disagree with. What? Flat Earth Convention. Flat Earth Convention. I would love to go so badly. I would so, so fuck a Flat Earther. Oh, dude. Absolutely. I mean, I'd fuck anybody that is attractive and into <laughs> wanting to fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> consent, Not anybody, but a lot of people. Consent is important, Yeah, Mike. consent, you yeah, know. Yeah, you know. Uh, but no, I would love to go to a flat earth. But I wouldn't hold, I wouldn't not fuck somebody because of a belief. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, well, it depends, but not flat earth belief. Okay. I'll say that. At All least. right. Okay. There you go. How about you, Mike? Where, where would you not want to go? The Masturbators Anonymous convention. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't Hi, sh- my name's Mike, and I can't quit touching it. I don't want to <laughs> shake your hand, dude. Yeah. Leave me alone. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Bill. Oh, sorry. Our hands are stuck together. <laughs> now. Oh, that's gross. Uh, all right. This one comes in from a listener. This is from Hunter Buntrock. Uh, he wants to know, what is something normal to hear at 3 p.m., but weird to hear at 3 a.m.? Baby, I think I hear a noise outside. <laughs> what? That, that was That's weird to hear during the afternoon. Oh. It's the I other think way, it's the other way around, other way buddy. around dog. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I no. got the sad button. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I know. I I thought I was I was feeling smart. Yeah, you're feeling good about that one. I was. I was like done. I was like I got nothing. (sighs) Earlier, I said, "Look, man, I got nothing." And Mike's like, "Oh, any idiot can think of something." (laughs) And then and then I did it. Then you did that. Sweet. Oh man, I thought I had one, but I think it just escaped me. But I I would just say just. Hey, fuck you! Just randomly in the middle of three o'clock in the morning, but I think that see actually... what I see how I didn't have anything. Uh, but no, it's like uh, yeah, I'll have a roast beef and cheddar, please. I think that would be a good one too. I don't think that's that weird at three a.m. <laughs> I don't either. If I can find a twenty-four hour Arby's, I'm, I'm going to that yeah, bitch yeah. at three You're in the damn morning. Damn right you are. Fair that enough. sounds good. I need some more diarrhea. Yep, JP. Hunter Hunter Buttcock, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I hate that fucking guy. <laughs> This is a stupid fucking question. <laughs> he definitely got called buttcock in high uh, school. I don't have an answer for it. Okay, that's fine. I really don't even, I don't know. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah, man. No I'm, no worries. Yeah, I, don't, I can't. Did you, happen you get, to did have you get any those papers on my Poupon? desk yet? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. No, uh, honestly, the thing that I was thinking of was something that a roommate in college. I'm going to need you to work a little overtime. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Poor Jeremy. Uh, but no, uh, I had a roommate in college that would talk in his sleep. And so at three o'clock oh, in the nice. morning, I swear to God, I heard, well, yeah, fishers don't swim on the moon. And I'm like, what? God damn the right. Fuck? They don't. They crawl. <laughs> it's like, what yeah. the fuck? Well, we were, uh, when we visited my uncle one time, my aunt and uncle, when we were kids, I was probably six or seven and he was a, he drank a lot and, uh. All of a sudden, we're watching TV. All of a sudden, a Little Caesars commercial comes on, mm-hmm. and uh, he sits. Is when they had pizza, pizza, buy one pizza, get one pizza free. Mm. He just sits up in the middle of the commercial. He's like, "You gotta buy two pizzas," <laughs> and then he just fucking goes back to sleep. Dude. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was great. That's good. Ooh, I did just have one. Hey, Dad, do you want to go down and see the Titanic? It's only a quarter of a million dollars. That's one. That's okay. that's something that's normal to hear at three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's but not. weird to hear at 3 a.m. No, normal at 3 p.m., weird at 3 a.m. See, I told you. I'm a I think it's a stupid <laughs> question, and I think that was a stupid answer. I'm trying. Yeah, the whole question was flawed. <laughs> okay. Way to well, go, it's not, Hunter. It's not us. It's this question. Fair it's, enough. yeah. Uh, this one comes in from Twitter. This is at TR3Y. I'm guessing his name is Trey with a bunch of underscores. Uh, he wants to know, if I were to open a new strip club, what would it be called? Dicks. Oh, yeah. That name is already taken for a sporting goods store. Well, then we'll have a lot of customers. <laughs> Why don't you just name it Balls? Okay. There you go. Yeah. Cock and Balls. Uh, I think for you, a better name would be uh, the Balloon Knot. The Balloon, the balloon <laughs> Knot. Okay. Let's call it Buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> buttholes? Because then it's open to every. everybody's got a butthole. It's true. <laughs> it's true. We and don't some people are like, do you want to go see it? Is, <laughs> is it like chicks' buttholes? It's every kind of butthole, dude. I would call it the Pink Starfish. <laughs> the Pink Starfish. Uh, I, I have a very creative way of doing this. I'm going to call mine Gravity. Why? Women over 50. That's what mine's going to be. And just old, <laughs> old just a lot of sagginess. It would <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be a hit. Yeah, man. Bikers would flock there oh, like the guaranteed. salmon of Capistrano. Yeah, and there would be, no matter where you go, if there's a group of women, there's always the hottest one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> even even yeah. at fucking gravity. Even at gravity, <laughs> there's a girl one who just turned there. 50. You're like, God damn. <laughs> she looks baby. fucking good, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I was thinking of of the grossness of strip clubs in general. So my title would be Herps. <laughs> Nice. And then I've just, if you have extra money, you get to go into the HP VIP room. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. That's great. I love that shit. Oh, man. Sign me up for herps. Uh, next one. If I had a remote control that could mute anything, I would definitely mute blank. Scotty. Yep. Oh. I push that button on myself, uh, but that's a good answer. I would mute audience members. That oh, but you won't have the laugh back. That's true. I know. I thought of that, but I would you just mute them. In. I would mute them from saying words. Okay, but unmute. They could laugh. Unmute if they just went <laughs> <Yeah>. ha 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 ha. <laughs> you just unmute that shit after the joke. Like just sit there with the remote pointed at them. But what else? I would mute uh, other people's car alarms. Oh, that's it's, a it's good not like one. like there was maybe a six month period where if you heard a car alarm, you'd be like, we better go check out what it is and now, see that yeah. nobody's breaking into anyone's car. Right. And now it's like, fucking turn it off. I wish they would just steal that motherfucker already. Yeah, get yeah. it away get from it me. Here. I would mute those because those do yeah. no good to anybody. Uh, Even if my own is going off, I'm sitting inside and I'm like, I don't think that's mine. Mm. Um. Shit, man. I've got a couple. I mean, obviously, the correct answer to this is Derek. Uh, I would definitely. But he's not here. But he's not here. Already muted. Already <laughs> muted. <laughs> done and done. I want I want to be able to mute my wife's alarm clock. Not mine, okay. but my wife's. Oh, that's a good answer. Because yeah. I can't. I, I, she's waking me up. I want yeah. to be able to turn that fucker off. If she wants to be woken up, I will do it for her. But the fact that I can't push the button of her phone to turn her goddamn alarm off pisses me off. Hmm. So I'm going to go with that one. You guys need some Apple watches. To connect together? No, they it vibrates to yeah. wake you up so it doesn't make a noise out loud. I think I'm way too used to that sensation. I don't think it would wake me up. <laughs> You're just like, no, go ahead, baby. I'm sleeping still, but do whatever you need to. Whatever you need oh, to. whoops, that's my watch. I thought it was butt Oops, stuff. I dropped my watch in my vagina. That's true. I guess I'll, I can't wait for 6 a.m. Yeah. And last but surely not least, what sport would be greatly improved if all competitors had to ingest a mandatory amount of edibles? All of them. <laughs> That's the only the only right answer. <laughs> no. All of them. No. But mostly NASCAR. Uh, okay. I'd be <laughs> slow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everybody'd be chilling. Yeah. You'd have to be in a bag of fuggies. I was going to say put a, a, put a drive through in the middle of it. Yeah. American gladiators would be lit as fuck on edibles. That would be so great. It depends on number one, the amount of edibles. Oh, and it's number a lot. two it's is a lot. as long as every person involved is getting an equal amount. But no, I take that back because <laughs> an, an equal amount to to me right. might fuck you Tolerance, up way more yeah. than so you right. have to do like months of testing to find <laughs> out the exact way to get everybody equally, equally fucked high. up yeah. enough where they can still do shit but just barely <laughs> and the, like the coach is on the sidelines like trying to call the plays and shit and he's like fucking you know, you know the, the one where the, the thing yeah. do the thing but yeah. I'm thinking coaches uh, why at that point yeah. why do they even exist in this sport that we are creating i, I said like battle it. bots but i think all of them is a better already <laughs> high, i yeah. think yeah yeah faux show all right well ladies and gentlemen that is questions and preguntas if you do have any of uh, any suggestions send them to us at lot sidelines on twitter we would sincerely appreciate it and now we get to move on to a very popular part of the uh episode this is our laughing on the sidelines draft All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the fairy one. Last week's draft. 
I'm not job, surprised. Buddy. I'm JP very good. Finally, man. His first oh, my God. It's my first win. W. My first real win. Like, you've given pity wins before. I have. But How does it the, feel? It feels fucking good. Yeah. Now, yeah. now you get to blow job yourself. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait. I, I, I'm going to choke could, on it. I could wait. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> God damn it. I'll take some pictures. I'll send them to you. Oh, please do. Stop sending me those. (laughs) I'm doing it again. Damn it, JP. Will you stop? I I should have never given him my number. (laughs) He's very talented. But I really needed that week. I know, right? (laughs) Hey, you know, give a little, take a little. That's right. (laughs) Anyway, so JP gets his first W of his life, uh, wins last week's draft. And uh, what was it anyway? People we wanted to oh people we wanted to hang out hang with out that's with, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike picked Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> I wanted to hang out with him <laughs> I was thinking like Basketball Diaries Leo yeah yeah <laughs> where he's right. all strung out and shit yeah. I want to hang out with that guy oh shit but anyways uh, so that means that JP gets the championship picks this week i came in second uh a very close race between me and jp but i get the sandwich picks why is he why do you got to bring that up man you can't just let me very have close. the win he barely won barely but he won, did win but he let did me win. have the win uh but then uh, mike gets first pick and this week's draft is going to be our favorite game show i'm gonna win this one too I don't oh, I know. Can't wait. I don't know. I I have a feeling we may have done this one before a very very long time ago, but that's okay because uh, I'm really excited about this one. Um, Mike, I go first. You get first pick for what is your favorite game shows of all time? Um. Well, yeah. I mean, I gotta say Jeopardy. Okay, that's okay. That's a good one. It's, I mean, that's the classic. Uh-huh. I, it's not as good to me now that Alex Trebek is not involved. Is he alive? No. Oh, he died. He went on a submarine trip to the Titanic. Oh no. Um, At least it was instant. <laughs> exactly. It was quick and painless. Uh, shit. Okay. Well, if you're gonna go the, if you're gonna take the classic, and I think that is, yeah, that's the classic. I I'm I'm gonna be true to myself, man. I've already brought it up because it probably is my favorite, and I'm gonna go with the American Gladiators. Oh, man. Okay, that's, I don't think that's a game show. I know, is it? It is, yeah, because you have contestants and you get to uh, basically perform against the gladiators. Yeah, all right, man. I'll give it guy. to you. I'll give it to you, but I hope nobody votes for you now. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> it was good shit. It was awesome. I want them to vote for me. No, I want that for you also. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you get you get the championship picks. You get two yeah. in a row. What do I you like got? That. Uh, the first one I'm gonna go with uh, the match game. Okay, okay. Gene Rayburn, yeah, fucking is my hero. Really? Yeah, dude. And JP just lost oh, the draft. No man, <laughs> I, that fucking guy is. Know amazing. your audience. I don't care. <laughs> the I stupidest think game show ever is <laughs> blank. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, JP, you get your second pick. Uh, the second one is Legends of the Hidden Temple. Fuck you, you piece of shit! What is that? Le- I don't even off, know. Off Nickelodeon. Oh, you motherfucker! Was what? Tell me about it. Oh, you have the green lizards, you silver have the snakes. silver snakes. Oh. And, and anyway, it was teams, and you competed in questions, and then you got to run in the temple at the end, and you had to fucking like get to dodge the, the big rolly ball and shit. Stuff. I kind of yeah, yeah, remember. Yeah. Maybe oh, it was temple gr- it was guards awesome. would capture temple you. Temple guards would capture you. You'd have to stay there for yeah. Here's dude. here's a plot hole, by the way. Here's here's a plot hole of that stupid fucking show that I loved and watched oh, religiously. It was fucking great. So they would compete for extra lives that they would wear yeah, yeah. around their neck. They uh, would be uh, oh, medallions called, or yeah, something. But they were called something. They were but some, yeah. yeah, they were Olmec coins yeah. or something. Anyway, yeah. but you would try to get two full ones because if you got captured or caught by right, a temple guard, the fucking, you could use your little yeah. extra life thing. However, each uh, thing that they would do was always worth a half uh, an yeah. Olmec coin. Yeah. Well, if you got one and a half, 
It was the same fucking as, thing. Right. It, it was as good as getting two. Right. So I thought that was a well, fucking god it's damn. It's still a great fucking answer. And you guys are boring great. the fuck out of uh, me. All right. Fucking Sorry about loved that. Legends of the Hidden Temple. You can find yeah, it on dude. YouTube. Go and watch sure. it. It's great. I'm gonna spend the next week just watching every episode. <laughs> you should. This is the greatest game show. You won't I've ever fucking seen. regret it. Oh, you piece of shit. I'm gonna go with the Family Feud. All yeah, right. that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, Except Richard Dawson was oh. a fucking creep. Oh, but it, but not then. Nobody was like, "Get off me, Richard." Yeah, but uh, then you, you every look at lady it now, that you like, see, holy shit. Yeah, but all the ladies are excited. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like I wonder how many secretaries were yeah. actually mad that they got their asses grabbed right. back in the fifties and sixties. You know, it was probably just a few who was like who didn't get their asses grabbed. It was like he should not be allowed to grab anybody's ass. Yeah. yeah. So Everybody's so he's like what? <laughs> all right. Sorry. Anybody other than Steve Harvey is not as good. I know Louie did it for years. I didn't like it as much. And I know there's other people, but Steve Harvey's the goat. I like the one that offed himself. What was his name? Yeah, he probably did it Ray because Ray Combs. <laughs> Combs. Yep, I liked there him. Go. Good for him. Yeah, he was really good. He was yeah. my generation's family feud guy. Did he yeah. purposefully go on a submarine to the Titanic? No, he shot uh, himself in the head. That sounds purposely. Like, that's, so it's not as quick. He purposely took a submarine <laughs> yeah, yeah. to heaven. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, Mike, you get two in a row back to back. What do you got? Um, let's think here. Do I want to pick? Am I picking like to win or am I picking? That's the name of the game. I know. No, but, man. You're but I also, your favorite. I also want to have like my. You want to have some integrity. And yeah, that's exactly, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm going. Uh, I like the question and answer thing. You guys seem to like the games that have like other shit going on. Yeah. I just want to be asked questions. I'm going to say millionaire. Who wants to be a millionaire? That's a good one. I was kind of hoping that one would come back. Yeah. Uh, Regis Philman. He's also yeah, I like dead. Regis. He died. Yeah, he's dead too. Yep, he is. Really? Now, Mer now Meredith Vieira does it. <laughs> she does a fine job. She does man. a fine job. Yeah. I like her. Okay, you get your second, or you're actually your third pick there, Mike. What do you got? Um, let me think. Well, it can't be worse than millionaire, so. No shit. I like, um, I know this one's not going to help me, but I like it. It's called The Chase. Love yeah. it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, great Where show. you have to go against the beast. Yeah, the beast, And dude. the beast fucking is just fucking, a smart ass yeah. dude. I don't know if they even do new episodes of it now, but. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, my grandma watches the game show network uh, probably 50% of the time. The other 50% <laughs> is uh, INSP, which is the inspirational channel, but they just play like old westerns and stuff. So it's half game shows, half gun smoke. <laughs> but anyway, the chase is good. Yep, and the host, uh, Brooke Burke, is yeah. that her? Or Brooke Burns? Brooke something, but yeah. She's fucking cute. Yeah, she's good looking. Ooh, buddy. I'm I'm actually really, really surprised this one's still around, but you got to have it. It's been on since you were just a little kid. You wake up in the morning. Price is right. And you'd watch Bob Barker, motherfuckers. Price, Price is, is right. right. Yeah, that's a, good, a one. good one. Yes. It's a good one. But yes. it's the same. I feel the same about that as I do about uh, uh, Jeopardy now. And it's like, no, it was good with the old host. Oh, yeah. And Family Feud, for that matter. I don't like the. I don't mind Drew Steve Carey. Harvey. There, here's what I hate about Family Feud now is this line. And it is every fucking show, every fucking time. We got a good one for you today. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they I can't all be. No. I don't like that they they purposely write sexual yeah, innuendos right. into the questions now. It used to just be coincidence, you know. It's like, what's something that you would want two of? And a guy would be like, wives, Tits. yeah, or <laughs> whatever. But now it's like, name something that you can put in your asshole. <laughs> and it's like, of course, the answers are going to be asshole related. And then Steve Harvey's still like, I can't believe you said that. And it's like, of course you fucking can. That's why the thing was written like that. I just like the families. I like the families and all their characteristics and shit like that. Nah, because, it's all no, fake now. Oh, yeah. man. Okay, fine. Well, it's scripted. Fuck you, but Price is Right is good with Drew Carey, but yeah. Bar Barker's the man. Yeah. He, I'm, you know what? He's not dead. So no. There no. Is. Somehow. Still going strong. I don't he, know about Because he's probably been spayed or neutered. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, all right. JP, you get two in a row. Uh, press your luck. Okay. No Love whammies, no whammies, no, no whammies. whammies, no whammies. Uh -huh. Peter Tamarkin, man, that guy was way underrated. 
This is that a, the guy who figured it out? No, that's oh, the host. that was the host. Yeah, you, guy, you know the story of the guy yeah, who like yeah, he learned out the, the pattern. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yep. All right. Same thing happened in The Price Is Right. Oh, the, the guy, the guy who yeah, like the memorized, memorized all the prices, prices and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yep. Good old and, uh, before autism was was <laughs> shamed in this yeah. country. People used to thrive with it. Okay. And then uh, let's go with Funhouse. Okay. Do you remember that one? Kind of, yeah. I can't think of the guy's name that did it. Pee Wee uh, Herman, man. No, just dude, kidding. JT Roth. Okay. That's it. JT Roth. <clears throat> I don't oh, remember that was this a at great all. fucking show. All on today's fun house. It was that fat guy with the glasses. Okay. The announcer. Yeah, I love that fucking That's show. So you got to look it up. You'll love it. Uh, all right. So I've got one that I really want to hold on to, and I'm going to trust that it's going to still be there. Um, but I I would be a liar if I said I didn't watch this. And, and I kind of like Howie Mandel, but I'm going to go deal or no deal. No, oh, I hate that one. I, I like it because... It was cool for the first season. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of. And, and But the thing is, is that everybody was just like, they'd get the briefcase at the very end, and they'd get down to like four briefcases. And inside, you're going, no, come on, man, write it out. Write it the fuck out. And, they, and then they would make the deal, and they would have the huger chunk of money. And you were still yelling at the TV, oh, you stupid fucking idiot. You should have taken the chance. It's like, no, dude, either I walk out of here with nothing or walk out of here with what I got. So. My favorite part of that show was Howie Mandel. I love Howie Mandel. And I think that his commitment, like how many years after the fucking show has been on for so many oh, yeah. so many seasons, and he still answers <clears throat> that phone like he's really fucking uh-huh. talking to Hell, the banker. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, do you, have you not heard the story about the the I banker? I fucking love it. No, what's the story? Oh, no, the they, they fu- ju- he just says fucked up shit to him. They yeah. really are. They are really are connected to the to, to a, a guy. It's an actual phone. It's an actual oh person. yeah, it's an they actual really guy. Do give him the amount, and that's, but they just talk shit to him the whole time. The right? whole time. Yeah. And the best part is, is I guess uh, Howie Mandel goes like, "That's actually a real dude," and it's sometimes is played by other people uh, every once in a while. But there was one guy that he tried to use that to pick up chicks at a bar. Like, you know the silhouette of the guy that's on deal? That's me. That's oh, me. <laughs> so, not to brag. But that's, I'm the banker. I'm the banker. That has no money. Will you want to sleep with me? Uh, all right, Mike, you get your last two in a row, dude. Um, Cash Cab. Ooh. Cash Cab's a good one. Uh, that's a good, good one, old man. Ben Bailey. Oh yeah. yeah, love Cash. Who's Cab. also a comedian and humorous. He's good. Yeah, I know him as yeah. a comedian, and Cash Cab was tolerable. That was good, man. Yep. Uh, and then your last one there. Um, I'm tempted to do um, the uh, the throwing the ping pong balls into the bucket part of the Bozo Show. The bo- <laughs> what is that the called? The grand prize game, the grand baby. prize game. But yeah. I feel like that's not full Dude, I love game that. show oh, enough. I say he go with it. I'm gonna go I'll with. I'll vote for you if you go with the grand prize game. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I am gonna. I still like question and answer. That's my. That's, that's my subject matter this week. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna go with the weakest link. Oh, okay. It's a All good right. one. Both versions love, of that yeah, were good. I love Jane Lynch. The it. foreign lady. Like, and, and the foreign lady was the, awesome. I was going to say, she was a cunt. So yeah, she did she a great good. job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, then all three. But she was there a was real likable cunt. There was a yeah. Jane Lynch looking dude that did it oh, for really? a couple seasons. I didn't see that one. And that was equally good. A Jane Lynch looking dude. Are and you sure it wasn't Jane Lynch? See. No, I'm not. Well, all right. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. They just wanted to <laughs> test the waters first. No shit. They called her something else. They called her Butch, but. Okay, all, all right. right. It, it came back. It came. It came back. Yeah, and you get it. it. I've already talked about it, man. I wanted to do it for so bad. It's spill, spill your guts, man. I wanted to be on guts so fucking bad. I still say it's not a game show. Nickelodeon's guts. Yeah, it's as yeah. game showy as the legend hey, of fucking settle whatever. Down, man. No, I, settle down. I was old enough to be on global guts. Whenever they oh, always yeah. had the they, American, and yeah. then the other people that were who were also American, but they had <laughs> parents. <laughs> they were Chinese kids, <laughs> but they were yeah, exactly. right. They, they the, did do that. They totally did. Yeah, they were like, okay, I know. 
you're American, but where are your parents from? Right. And he'd be from Japan, yeah. and this person would be from, you know, England or Great Britain. <laughs> they all they have the, that. the flags and shit, and I would stomp every one of those motherfuckers. Uh, but that's my last pick. I got a lot of honorable mentions, but uh, JP, you get your last pick. Uh, I'm torn between a couple. Okay. You can have the grand prize game if you want. Nope. Okay. Nope. You didn't. It wasn't good enough for you. It's not good enough for me. That's true. Uh, shop till you drop. Oh, that's a shit. That's show. a great show, man. That might be the gay coming out in me. That one hundred percent is. <laughs> that's a good show, man. Let's go get uh, stuff to cook, dude. Can you not no, sit in that chair? It cool looks like you've shit. got some gay coming out of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got. Oh, oh it, it got on your my shirt's chair. Your shirt's turning rainbow it got again. On my shirt. God damn! Up, oh, what? Well, there, yeah, that right. There's the right one. Um, yeah. Can we, should we just go through all of the honorable mentions? Has everybody picked? Are, yeah, yet? all of mine are are totally like uh, uh, Nickelodeon shows. Uh, mine double dare. Double dare was double one. That was one of one. mine. Fear Factor was another good. one. I didn't one. want to do it. I didn't watch it enough because bugs creep me out. Yeah. Hollywood Squares. Hollywood, Hollywood Squares yeah. was one I almost picked. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to Shit, I debate brought, between Shop Till You Drop or Hollywood Squares. I would have taken Hollywood uh, Squares now that I think about over Deal or No Deal. Can so. I take Hollywood Squares instead of Shop Till You Drop? No, I, I feel want, like I had the last, I had the last pick. It's over. Okay, yeah. well, you guys still vote for me. <laughs> Fuck Scotty. Vote for me knowing that the answer that you see written down is not the actual answer that I wanted to pick. <laughs> right. So but, vote yeah, on vote what I'm telling you I wanted. Right. Uh, but no, there was one that nobody would know, but I, I loved the shit. I was Nick Arcade, which we talked yeah. before we started the draft. I knew it. It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, but we forgot. What, 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 what would you do was another one. And then there's uh, another Nickelodeon one, which was Wild and Crazy Kids. Do you ever remember that? Kind of. It was just on for a cut, like a yeah, little I'm bit. Sure. On so, that. yeah. Uh, I did have a friend, a friend that uh, was on Figure It Out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He was. Do you know that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was yeah, actually it's on. like... Uh, he died, though. He's dead uh, oh. now. On the show? No. Man. <clears throat> did they figure no. it out? Uh, no, they did not. He won the grand... <laughs> this is Billy. He's dead. No, he, <laughs> he, he won... See if they can figure it he out. He actually won the grand prize, which was a really cool, like, boombox bag that he got to take oh, home yeah? from. All right. <laughs> Man, yeah. life just went downhill yeah, after that. Was after the, he fucking that's how he, he wore the yeah he wore it out into the rain and fucking electrocuted himself. Fuck me. He didn't even last the year. Oh, he really did pass away, and it's a sad story. But we're gonna move on because this is a comedy show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is our draft for this week. You can go to Twitter, which is at lot sidelines, and vote. For your list of uh, you know the best uh, reality Supermarket game sweep. TV shows, Ooh, mm-hmm. that's, a, that's good. a good one. I thought that's actually what you picked, but no, you did Shop Till You Drop. Yeah, I like, like Shop Till You fucking, Drop, man. I'm that gay. You're that gay. Yep. Um, but yeah, you can vote for your favorite list of your favorite reality TV shows or game shows. Sorry. And uh, the original reality TV, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Game Ooh, shows, newlywed game. Oh, dude, that's a good one. We yeah. forgot that shit. Ah, or the dating game. Yeah, 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 yeah. kind of the same. Or the whole uh, the actual reality <laughs> games, like a uh, Survivor, Amazing right. Race. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I just now realized that the dating game is basically the 1980 version of fucking Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. really what it is. And there was a dating game killer. He was a serial killer. You know that? No, but... Oh, look that shit up. It's real. But anyways, go and vote uh, for your, the list of your favorite uh, game shows. So, yeah, have that. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by What's in the Box? Yay! What is in the box? It's not a box. It's not a box. Fooled you. Is there a box inside that envelope? There might be. I'm guessing. But I'm very scared because this is actually sent to Laughing on the Sidelines, but Scotty is in quotation or in like parentheses. Oh, so, God, I hope it's dick pics. Oh, I hope it's not Rem- a bomb. I, I hope it's money. It's yeah. definitely not money. I hope money. it's just a bag of cash. Yeah, it's not. Oh. Brought to you by a bag of cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're going to... Oh, no. 
Oh, uh, there's a box in there. It's Crayola. <laughs> oh, it's racist it's crayons. It's racist crayons. It's racist crayons. <laughs> Is that what it I've says? I've seen them. It's... No, they're Colors of the World crayons. <laughs> oh. If you read them, they're racist. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> oh, Jesus. A uh, friend of mine got us all a pack for Christmas one year, not too long ago. Oh, man. Why are they racist? Because it's... The, it's look it, at the well, names of the colors, man. Oh, don't, don't. I got Light know. almond... That doesn't sound racist. <laughs> Very light almond, light golden. I'm yeah. trying to see it. Extra deep golden, extra deep almond. <laughs> They're all just gold and almond. Oh, man. So are these supposed to be like different shades of skin color? I'm yeah, sorry. Right. Exactly. Oh, Which man. color am I? <laughs> I'm so scared. I would probably be. This way now. Is this closer? That's pretty damn spot on, actually. So I'm uh, my race is very light golden. <laughs> oh well, look at you. Which is kind of the way I've thought of myself <laughs> my whole life. I'm gold, but just just Good. barely. Uh, well, thank you very much. I, I'm trying to see if I can find out who this is from. But whoever sent the the racist crayons to me, I sincerely do appreciate it. Now I can make a poster of all the you know races of the world yeah man. right that's awesome that I is love great it. very very appreciative of that thank you to whoever you are uh sincerely do appreciate it but now we get to move on to our shitty situation of the week very excited about this one in particular so it is going to be would you rather receive a blow job on a roller coaster yes or <laughs> or, or Get a lap dance from a quadruple amputee stripper. Yes. <laughs> really? Can I come up both at the same time? <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah, your stripper's name is Magic Stick because that's how he has to get around. Right. So, is it a, it's a he, <laughs> it, a he for, stripper. No, well, for him mine it is. is. Yeah. But mine is a hot chick yeah. that just doesn't happen to have arms and legs. That's right. right. But you can tell, like, if her legs were there, they'd be right. nice. You can tell by her torso she works out. Yeah. Right. Right. She's, yeah, I see. I'm torn, man. Yeah, me too. Because blowjobs are good, but like hot chicks are good. How many times in your good. life are you going to be able to? You know what I mean? You can yeah. always get a blowjob on a roller coaster, but you can't always get a lap dance from a quadruple. I mean, amputee. I don't think I, I can go always do amputee. either of those things. <laughs> it's like you're getting a lap dance of a fucking pocket pussy. That's a lie. Pillow pet. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time I had my dick in a pillow pet. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> What animal did you fuck? I can't tell you. Okay, I bet you it was a it's fox. It's embarrassing. Oh, shit. It wasn't, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, I'm going with the quadruple amputee. <laughs> oh, man. For sure. Uh, for the, I don't even know which one is funnier. Which Neither one's are fu funny. Oh, no, one is definitely, no, they're both I don't think funny. either of them are funny. These are serious. These are serious <laughs> questions, Scotty. This is lie. this is, people want to know. Oh Jesus Christ! I don't, uh, I don't want to put my wife through that. I, I would, just don't. I would feel bad getting a blowjob from a double am or a quadruple <laughs> amputee because most of it would just be me holding her. <laughs> Right, and it's, it's like if she, it's people are like, pocket does she want to be doing this? And I'm like, oh. no, she told me she wants to. <laughs> Clap once if you don't want to do this. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Clap with what? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's sitting there with her belly. Like, <laughs> she can still speak English and stuff. Maybe. Or whatever that. language she speaks. <laughs> Blink your eyes if you want to stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm getting a lap dance by the quadruple amputee. She's yeah, got man. confidence. Fuck she's, yeah, she does. She's got confidence. If she's going out on stage with no arms and no legs, she has got confidence. She knows what she's doing, and she's probably making good money. She just has a problem with keeping her ones or G-string. That's the only problem. That I, falls right off. I would have picked her before you painted the picture that she has confidence. And now, I'm <laughs> now I don't want it. Now, now it's yeah. a blow job part, on the roller coaster. Part of the uh, attractiveness for a girl uh, to me is attainability. Uh, and if she's too confident, I feel like it's going to be too much work for me. God damn it. I can't even get a, a quadruple amputee to do, be into me. Oh man! But the the blowjob roller coaster girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's on your level. Yes. Like that's attainable. Right. <laughs> okay. Right on. Oh shit! 
All right. Uh, well, that's all I got for this week's episode. Oh, God damn it. Uh, but anyways, uh, do we have any shows coming up? Either of you boys? I got one on July 12th. You're going back on stage, dog. Oh, I I'm am. doing that same show that night at the the final night at the, the Looney Bin. The final night at the Looney Bin. The Wichita Bin. Looney Bin Comedy Club is yeah. unfortunately closing. Is the is the wreck going on there, too? Uh, I'm sure he's been invited. Uh, Whether he did it or not, I don't know. I mean, I would hope he does it. Mm. I'm sure he, he'll he be there at least. Yeah. Come mm. see us on yeah, that man. day. Come I'm doing some... Out, uh, uh nebraska stuff i also July. have a uh, open mic tomorrow night where at um uh yep <laughs> kirby's <laughs> kirby's it's the glizzy mic i need to go to more open mics man. it's a uh, food mic so oh nice everybody brings it's hot it's hot dogs really yep okay mm, good stuff but yeah it's uh 6 30 i think is food and then seven o'clock have you ever up. done an eating contest no, but if I was going to, it'd be hot dogs. Would it? Yeah. Uh, this is very weird. One of my best friends is actually was actually in hot dog eating contests, and he's dead now. No, he's still in. Oh, same this guy. Alive. No, same, same guy. Same That's guy. how he died. He's alive. Oh, cool. Uh, but no, he he had the like the regional record, and I had to help promote him. Or promote I don't. It's him. not how many I eat; it's how fast I eat them. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. How fast you eat them? Right. But you got to get the bread. You got to get the yeast. Tis the yeast. <laughs> I, I would eat, uh, for me. It's not a timing thing. Like I think it should just be a like keep going until, until you can't, you go, can't anymore. go anymore. Okay. I hope they use turkey dogs at whatever fucking <laughs> hot dog eating contest you guys decide to go to. Why? Because it's fucking rip off. It's not real beef. Yeah. Well, I, you're right. Turkey is not real beef. Yeah. I don't think anything in the hot dog is real. <laughs> uh, Scotty's like, I'm just period. trying to wrap this fucking show up. What are you guys talking about? I don't know. But anyways, go and see JP and Mike at uh, the Looney Bin. Uh, I don't know, but I know Derek has a show coming up as well, and it may even be the same one, but he's not here, and that's okay. Uh, but guys, we sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do by helping us spread this uh, this show. Uh, keeps on getting bigger. And thank you for our, uh, sharing all of our uh, TikToks and all of our content. We sincerely do appreciate it. And guys, as we always like to say, do us a favor. And if you like us, tell your friends. If you don't like us, we hope you get pushed over in a porta potty. <laughs> if you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Keep laughing. We'll see you in the (laughs) HP VIP room. (laughs) We will see you later. Take care.